And I love that we go live and the first thing you just hear is just you going You're just slamming away on that fucking thing. Sup everybody, this is Carrick and I am with ACG and this is <laughs> Takedown, who is with Takedown K D Gaming. And we are going to be doing some uh, banter files. We're going to be talking about games we've been playing, including Apex, as well as Division. Some a, a bit about what we've been or what I'm reviewing currently. I can talk about uh, a couple. I can't talk about others. If you get a chance, I would love for you to uh, spread the word. Have I played Vox Mechina? I have. It's one of the best VR games currently out. So if you're a fan of VR, that game is fucking amazing. So. What do we discuss first? Let's discuss Apex. What do we think? Uh, game of the year. BR game of all time for me. My favorite Battle Royale game I've ever played thus far. <laughs> Which I think you might agree with because you've never really been too big on them. I haven't been too big on them. And I would say that, yeah, <clears throat> o overall, they're, it, they're fantastic. Like, they, it, the game just works really well. I mean, from start to finish, uh, when it comes to a battle yeah. royale game for free, the idea that that game's free puts a lot of companies on notice. Not in a bad way, but I mean, you know, they got to realize that if they're going to ask for sixty bucks, they got to make sure they bring sort of their A game. Apex has its issues, but I think well, let's talk about what we and anybody in chat. If there's something that you came out of the the gameplay with, like a, a, a big positive, I'd like to hear it. But for me, I would say it is, it's all about the movement, regardless if we did well or not. When you start figuring out how to slide around and shit, it's, it's fucking amazing. Oh, when, it, the it, sliding it, in the mud. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's so well done. And I think that's probably one of the biggest parts is the sliding and understanding that you can slide and jump. And then you were, you were acing it, man. You were starting to pick up on uh, like weird shit, like um, the portal with the shield. So we had figured out that like that was awesome to put the shield down. You do the portal to escape, and then we and the portal's inside yeah. there, and you go in, and it's just like no, I'm not. I want to make sure people realize I'm not saying we came up with that tactic. I'm saying we learned it without. <laughs> we learned yeah. it without watching anybody else. Like you start looking at these tactics, going, okay, I can do that. And then Indio was telling me yesterday in Discord, he was saying that there's the guy who drops the gas canisters. And so technically, if you wanted, you could trap, you could trick somebody. You put a portal somewhere, you run to the end of it, you do the portal and you drop your gas canister. So when somebody jumps, you know, they follow you through the portal thinking they're going to, they're going to chase you up and they end up slamming right into the gas port, you know, no, the gas. Cool. And I was just like, yeah, of course. Like, doesn't that make, per that makes, that makes perfect sense. Like it makes perfect sense. Um, but the movement's so fucking. Yeah, the ability to jump and slide backwards, jump and slide left, jump and slide right, just works for that game. It just nails. Yeah, it's just it's a slick, it's the slickest battle royale game. It just seems like I don't know if it's because there's not much competition in terms of polish. When it comes to battle royale, a lot of them are quite janky. This one seems to be the first AAA true designed so, from the ground up sort of. So do you think it's that way because these guys know their shit? Do you why, like why do you think it's that way? I've, um, I don't know. I think because they've had a lot of time in the background making it, it's been completely unknown. Nobody knew about it apart from obviously the testers. Right. It's <clears throat> people. They've had a lot to learn from. They've had PUBG to look at and what not to do. They had Blackout, but which they probably had the most inspiration from, I'd imagine, because it's most similar to Blackout. I think they just had a lot of time to polish it and test it. <clears throat> yeah, and I would the say ping, the pinging system is the best thing ever made in a game. Yeah. It, what's up, Kill Chronic? Uh, yeah, I love the movement, the powers, the characters is my favorite VR hands down. When you start pinging shit, it feels so, even though we, we accidentally double pinged many times, you know, cause you're getting used to it. But when you start pinging stuff and, and even the cool thing is, even if you don't ping right, as long as you know what you are pinging for, you can say like, even if you say go there, but you it's really an enemy cause you missed him. You can just be like, ignore, ignore that. That's, that's not a place I want to go. That's where the enemy is. And you can just figure yeah. shit out. I also have to say. I loved the fact that like we had multiple clutch plays. I did one, you did two at least that I remember. Everybody in our teams has done one or two. Rush did some that we played with. But the best part is I would go and watch streamers and they were doing great. They've had six months, but they would still die. And it was awesome to be like, okay, like it, where the skill ceiling's high enough that even the best of the best still can have yeah. horrid drops or 
or just not even make a mistake, but just be unprepared. You drop down, you got white heads, white armor if you're lucky, maybe nothing, you know, in your local area, and somebody sh somebody shoots in even with a major, you know, or a, a minor shotgun, and there's a good chance you're done. So, yeah, there were so many good parts to that. It, it feels slick. It works really well. Um, skins are terrible, plain and simple. Worst fucking yeah. skins I've ever seen in a game. My guy's special skin makes him look like a wicker cabinet. That's it. Makes him look like something your grandmother would have made a chair out of. Like, it's the, it's the fucking most horrible skin. Um, that's the only thing I would bitch about. What did you think about weapon skins? Were you a fan? Did you care? No, I never care about that sort of stuff. And in this game, it seems even more generic than usual, to be honest. Like, it just seems like they, they didn't put any effort and they just threw random fit colors together. And Because the game is as colorful enough as it is. So in a game like Destiny, if you get a really colorful skin on your gun, the area is so drab, the color really sticks out on the gun and you're like, whoa, that's cool. But in this, everything else is so colorful, nothing sticks out. Yeah, so let's talk about the color. Um, I, I compared this directly to... Um, uh, Dirty Bomb, and I know you had said, <clears throat> at least I think you had said, you had actually not got a, a chance to play that. But one of yeah. the things with Dirty Bomb that I noticed, and I noticed here, is that sometimes the colorfulness of the world and the colorfulness of the people does make outlining them difficult. Um, yes. wh whether that's a design decision or something they'll work on later with a little bit of an outline, I don't know. I sort of do like it, but at the same time, when you see two pixels a mile away, and you're like, is that a bad guy or a guy or when all the shit's exploding and they're purple? So is your explosive. And so you're like, is that the explosive for the person? I don't know if that's all on purpose or not. Um, we'll have to see. Some people are saying they love the zip line. No, the they, zip line's incredibly they, fun. Absolutely. Uh, feature Matt says, so no more crazy SMG like in Fortnite. That hip fire is just random bullet spray. No, but I will say this. After watching streamers, I decided I watched some streamers, got some ideas and went back in and played. And I did learn a couple things. The first being we assumed there was a ton of recoil and I played like there was a ton of recoil for at least 10 or 15 matches minimum. And there isn't that much. In fact, if you see most streamers, they're just hammering away and I'm always sitting there going like, yeah, 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 you know, and, and we're worried about it. When I switched, I, we ended up being second. Uh, we almost won that last game, right? We were second, weren't we? Yeah. We yeah, were set. Yeah, that's the best yeah. We've done. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and after that, I got three or four uh, third places, which I'm totally fine with, especially because never knowing who you're playing against. Um, but there's no recoil or very little recoil, and that it, it just depends on what you like. Also, the shotguns reach out for way farther than I thought. I mean, I killed yeah, that one guy. Shotguns are incredible. Remember when I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna fire," and I shot him, and it was like, "Bang!" And we were playing with Rush, and Rush is like, "Jesus, good shot!" Like, what the fuck? Like that was a sniper rifle, but in shotgun form. So, and it had a choke, obviously, but still, um, that was pretty different. What do you What do you think overall? I'm gonna put myself back in focus here. I moved. Um, what do oh, you think? Jesus, yeah. What do you think overall? <laughs> I think I've got glaucoma right now. Yeah. What do you think overall of the attacks um, and uh, the melee you didn't like, right? Melee, I forgot about. To be honest, I didn't ever. Use, I never felt the need to use it because, as you know, whenever we drop in, we don't have guns, and the enemy do every single time. Right. So if I'm trying to use melee, then it's there go. not going to work against them because they always have a shotgun somehow straight away. Right. Yeah. Because I saw a clip yesterday of Reg playing with Johnny, and Reg, there was a guy in front of him with a shotgun. And he just punched him to death, and the guy had a shotgun, and Reg was laughing so hard. It was so funny to watch. Oh, yeah, the one they, they posted, right? Mm. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> um, I would say, um, overall, I, I feel that the punching in it is a little underpowered. We, we couldn't figure out if it was 15 points or 30. I think it was 15 points per punch, because I hit a guy twice, and it said yeah. I did 30 points of damage total, because we dropped, and it was just no... And I was dumb. I was like, fuck it, we're just going in. Yeah. And we went in, and what I realized is a lot of people are doing that, but they're not going at each other. A lot of people are going in in the same groups, but then they're running to grab items. What we did, or what I did, was I landed and chased a guy. I chased a guy. He grabs a shotgun, because, of course, he's one foot in front of me. That's all he needs. And I'm punching him, and he just turns around and just like, boom. So, yeah, it all depends. Yeah. Indio, well, if it was the Peacemaker, you got to shoot three seconds into the future for someone right in front of you. Agreed. Uh, there, yeah, there's one or two of those weapons that I won't even, I mean, I almost won't touch unless 
unless an enemy is bearing down on me and we've got just a little bit of time, most of the time I'll, I'll pass the I'll pass those fuckers down. Indio's right. There's one gun that has a lot of delay, and I was firing it and I I couldn't hit anybody with it. Like it was it was ridiculous. I ended up having to basically just give up on that completely and uh, and switch over to the handgun. Uh, the Evo shotgun is sick. I don't I don't remember a lot of the names. What's up, Nor? Thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate it. I like how the bits when Nor puts them in, they're always separated. It's not five bits. It's one, two, three. Nope. Like how the fuck does <laughs> that? Time. Do you? Yeah. How do you do? That? I wonder. I wonder how if that's if that's on purpose. But it, it looks cool. That's all that matters. If you guys get a chance, spread the word about the podcast. I know a lot of people will be playing Division. A lot of people will be playing Apex. Um, what else do we Apex. like about it? everything i think it's incredible i don't know what it is it's just hit on i think it's quite incredible that there's so many br games at the moment and this one has come out amongst all of them and it's just one of the best ones or the best one for me without any fanfare either yeah right like out of yeah. the blue out of the blue i mean compared to fortnite i'd say it's a billion leagues above it in terms of its gameplay there we go now i've got oh jesus what about wait, wait a minute what is... I don't know what half oh. of these are. <laughs> Perhaps he taught me who that one was. I never, I never knew who that who this is. Yeah, it's a. It's apparently it's a Twitch streamer or something. Oh, gotcha. I'm just. I thought around. it was Ted from How I Met Your Mother. That's how I thought it was for oh, ages. God. Um, what's up, Fun Soup? Some rounds ha I had no gun. Yeah, that definitely happened to us. There were multiple yeah. times where we jumped in and we were like, "Oh yeah, so we've got nothing to actually fire upon." Um. Which does suck, but I think overall it makes sense. Um, the the sliding works. I know some people complained because you have to be at full speed for sliding, but luckily Doctor Disrespect was doing a stream and I was watching him and he brought up the fact that if you were able to slide by from a standstill, it would be somewhat of an exploit. Because he was bitching about it, he was like, "Oh, I can't just hit slide." And then he was like, "Actually, you know what?" He's like, "For this game, I, I yeah. he, he he's like, I get it. Like for this game, that that makes sense, and so do I. I'm I'm glad they didn't <laughs> add that." Um, what else did we like? Uh, what, you know, what bothered us? I would say for sure the main um, thing that bothered me was the lack of multiple maps. Uh, see, that didn't bother me at all. Not one bit. I just thought the map was so varied. Every time you landed on a different place, it was like a new map for me. Hey, what's up, Indio, with your dog faces? Okay, because in Titanfall, you could do something called bunny hopping. I'm wondering if that's able to be utilized. Well, bunny hopping means something different in every game. Um, but in this game... You can uh, basically, if you're moving backwards, you can tap space and then see right away and you'll barely jump and slide out of the way. You can do it sometimes go going forward. It's a little janky. When it comes to the map, I have to disagree. I would say that's the only thing that's stopping me. Like, because we talked about it. We were like, what do we want to do? And I'm like, eh, I don't really want to play Apex right now. And so we did the poll, which strangely enough, the podcast almost won. Yeah. And... Weird. um. And I don't know, dude, I, like I get, I know what you mean, but there's no weather. There's no di dynamic feeling. Yeah. Imagine if it was nighttime, imagine all you're seeing is the glow of those fucking trails as you go down and you know that the moment you hit the ground, it's going to be fucking jet black and all you're going to see is colors as people, <laughs> you know, all these things change. All, what if only the specials really glowed so you could see those some places were bright. Some places are super dark. The desert would be much more enjoyable then. Because, like, the desert area is just a... I mean, you and I, we live till the end of the match just by s hanging out in that tower and plinking people. Oh, yeah, that was fun, though. That was so fun. It, it was fun, but not over multiple periods of time for me. No, that would get boring fast. If you know what I mean, there, yeah. Or, the or, area. or somebody pissed at us for doing it, right? Because, I mean, that's... We weren't even really sniping or camping anything. We were just up there safe. And the yeah, only way to... hiding. Yeah, the, you, you could do some damage. Enemies, you know, took me down twice. You saved my, my butt twice, but that was it. Um, let's see. Weather effects would be nice in BR games in general, Plague Soul says. Yes, it absolutely would. Thanks, yeah, guys. We're at 42 viewers. That. Yeah, right? It's weird. But they have said for Apex they're doing multiple new maps at the moment. They're working on new maps. Yeah. So they'll be they'll probably be out middle of the year. I well, wait a minute. They're already... they're, no, they're road... Wait, what game? Apex. No, man, their roadmap has no maps on it. Oh, really? Maybe I was thinking of a different game. Then. There, somebody said that they were working on maps, but currently their roadmap itself, whether they add it or not, doesn't have any maps at this uh... time. So here's the thing. Do this map at night. I don't care. 
do the map with snow. Because do you know what was my most fun I had was with you and Rush and we were in the, the swamp and you guys got killed and I was trying to take that one last guy out. And it was like you were slow. You couldn't see as well. There was too, there was fog. Like, I like that kind of stuff. And we in Division, we'll talk about in Division. I love that one battle we had in the courtyard with the multiple levels and we couldn't see the enemies because they were... Yeah, in the, they were hidden in the darkness and you, we were in the bright and we were trying to figure out how to get there. So to me, that's the, my favorite thing. Uh, Dozel says, I watched some streams. They were sliding on the ground half the time while running. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the sliding mm -hmm. down the mud. So man, good. so good. So good. That, man, S it replaces wall running. Also, remember when, when you and I were playing and the guy's like, all you need to do, if you... If you hit your peak button, you won't go over the ma over the wall. Oh yeah, you just like a yeah, you Tim just Allen peak like Tim Allen and home. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> what the fuck because we didn't we had never thought of doing that, and that yeah. makes it so that you know you're not putting your entire body in in the way if like enemies are in there. Um, but true. I I do love how we set those guys up by cl or opening all the doors and then waiting for them because they saw the doors went in. And it was like, we're all, we'll just wait. We'll open the doors. We'll leave and we'll wait and see who, who sees those open doors. And if they're an aggressive team, they'll go, they'll go at it. And you can quite literally do that. You can set people up or close the doors and then suck people in thinking that there's items in there. If they're a defensive team, I thought those, all, all yeah. those were awesome. Do you have any favorite character? Uh, uh the Wraith probably. So you know the one that teleports. Yeah, but you never use her invisible, you dope. <laughs> I just love the fact that it's there. And I love the portal that isn't... I mean, the portal is actually pretty useless if you really think about it. Because the enemy can use it. You're going to use it to go into battle. But then if you're going to use it to get out of battle, they're going to follow you. It's not the most useful, really. I disagree. I think the portal's insanely useful. Because just because... You, I, I see what you're saying, but let's say you put the portal near a rock. And then in the enemy base... I mean, a lot of guys won't leave their base to come after you, and you're now behind a rock another 60 yeah. yards away. So, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I agree. I know where you're coming from, but let's see. I, uh, for sure, Matt says, what do you guys think about there being no duos? So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I had a ton of issues when we started because I could only do three people. And now, as I've been playing it, I feel that this was the best plan. I played Same. it single, got lucky, played it single a couple times, and played it duo a couple times, and I honestly feel triple works the best, because there's a triad there. There's no even. So, for example, when you flank, if one person is flanking to the left and two are to the right, that one person can't open fire first, because if they do, they'll get smoked. They'll get smoked before the two people on the right can do any damage. But if you wait... Yeah. And the two people on the right drag them in, then the guy on the left can then shoot them in the back or throw a grenade. And if you understand that, if you're like two of us, it, like take down and I would say going right, and then Abzi, Rush, whoever we play with, be like going left. We did, we would almost always kill the group that way. But if you if you had two on two, it would be more even. I like that. <coughs> What's up, Commander? Thanks for the bits. You rock, man. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, Lifeline and Bloodhound are my favorites. I do want to try Caustic. I got Caustic, haven't un haven't played him yet. Is there any others you liked, Takedown? Um, I liked the... Oh, what was it? The Bloodhound guy. The Hound, whatever. You know, the one who could tell you where people were. Yeah, right, right. But, yeah, he never seemed to work, because they have to be really close. Um, What did you think about the <coughs> robot repel? The repel, the fucking grapple hook. I liked him when other people were playing him. I didn't like to play as him myself. I liked it when uh, Rush played as him and he got us out of a situation by using the yep uh, re repel thing. That was pretty pretty good. The best one, though, is when we were in there and I heard the repel shoot and we had seen the enemies and I heard the repel shoot and thought it was him. And you guys are like, oh, shit, they're inside. And they had repelled between us. We were on both edges and they repelled right here and I heard it and I thought it was him. And so I'm just waiting. You guys are like, they're right fucking here. They they already got it. I love that, man. I like those kind. Yeah. Even even we'll, when you die. We all died. <laughs> yeah, we all died. Even when you die, it's still fun. Oh, fuck yeah. I was going to ask in uh, in chat, who's lived, who's died, how many matches, um, <clears throat> how, how many deaths. I've won once, got multiple last groups, uh, but uh, haven't, haven't got that inevitable second win. Squally subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. And remember, it is free if you subscribe with him. Um... 
How many have you got? You've got first with me or second. Second. You got second. You've got second. Yeah, never... We've been within five most of the time. Five. Yeah. We've quite done pretty lot. well. Quite a lot. Yeah. Um, I saw body parts as one three times. Ooh, look at that. Jesus. Plague Souls. Man, what a cool game. It makes me think of other hero shooters that could be in BR setting like Quick Champions or Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm telling you guys, man. Oh, and spread the word if you get a chance uh, that we're doing this. But yeah, Apex, uh, the, the one thing I will say that's, that's unique is like my character has the shield that goes up, but the shield is just opaque enough to cause me to not want it on. Like, it's just visually disrupting enough, and I love that. Everything about the game has a negative and a positive. Like you said, when you're using the t tunnel, the portal spell, you can't do anything. That's all you can do. So there's like a give and a take for everything. I made it to the tutorial, then remembered I have no friends to play the game with, and that EA made it and quit. Well, Respawn made it. EA had no part in it, according to Respawn. Literally no part. What that means is, if you hate microtransactions, you cannot blame EA for this one, because Respawn has stated it was them. Um, I got sixth, LOL, out of ten rounds. Not bad. Not bad. Just what? reading, nine wins on PS4, Jesus. Wait, what? Jesus, do you have a, are those with randoms? Because we're always with at least one random. Well, we played with Rush. We played with, uh, I played with uh, Tori and Rush, but mostly with Takedown, Abzi sometimes. God damn, that's insane. Even, it, man, that's insane. Even Dr. Disrespect wouldn't be able to do that. That's, uh, that's in, uh, unbelievable numbers. Tori says, some yes. of these players are insane on PC. True. True. We think we win against on PC. We think we win against somebody like that because there were three of us and one of him. And that motherfucker's just that just that now this was the first day, but he schooled the shit out of us. Like he juggled us like we were made of handles, man. Like it was weird. We went in there and we were just like, and it was like like he was taking on all of us at the same time. It's sort of embarrassing. <laughs> um, what else do you like about it? Or dislike? Uh I like the fact it's three people, not duos and singles. I think three people is the perfect amount for optimal teamwork. <coughs> That's how I feel about the three-person thing. I know it's annoying for people who have like four friends and they want to have to leave someone out. That's probably annoying for a lot of people. And then not being able to do a singles if you haven't got friends is probably annoying for a lot of people as well. I mean, I, I, I certainly agree, certainly think it can be annoying, but at the same time, I, I do. I feel like it's right. Like it's just it's it's, perfect. It's, it's it's oh so right. It works. What do you guys in chat think? Do you like the? Do you like? I agree. Three people. Uh, three people. Yeah, I don't mind playing in teams of random three. Thanks to the spotty mechanic. So he, what I meant by uh, you know, randoms is more just their like their skill. You can spot, but we had one guy that takedown and I went with, and the moment we launched, he went completely his own way and died and then got mad at everybody. Yeah. So that was annoying. That was, but fun at the same time. Cause you and I lasted yeah. way longer. Remember you and I were yeah. just like, okay, what the fuck ever, man. Um, I will say also it may, it give, it makes you feel like useful no matter what you're doing. So, uh, Rush and I both died and takedown, not necessarily always the best shot to, you know, I think he would agree. And he fucking, yeah, while we were in there, like he ends up picking up me and I'm like, okay, man, go heal me or go resurrect me. And he's like, no, I've got both of you guys. And there's people firing at his feet. He shoots shot. He's a dude drops the guy to the ground. He turns around to kill him. I'm like, dude, don't kill him. Just keep running. Like you don't have time. You don't know where his, his friends are. And he turns around, he runs and we're just all like, oh my God, is he going to do it? And you had to run like 300 yards, got to a place, oh. respawned us. That was so great. And then the other time where I was on the ground and you came around the corner and the three dudes are standing there looting my stuff. Yeah. And you and what I want to make sure people understand how crazy this was. So the fire uh, firefight goes on. Other guys already dead. It was us by ourselves. I'm on the ground and takedown says something. And I don't know what I don't even know if he'll remember what he was doing. But there's three guys near me. I say there's three dudes spawn, uh, that are fucking going through my stuff. And takedown goes, hang on a second. Now, I don't know if that means he switched weapons, but it was like a fucking movie because he goes, hang on a second. And then the next thing I know, I'm watching his screen and it's like, 
gah, 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 and they just were like dead 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 it was fucking <laughs> awesome and it was it, it was. was right out of a movie it was like it was it was that typical one-liner from like a superhero who's like i got this and he, you did man you had it like that was that was so fucking fun to watch we've had some of those uh hunt showdown we had a couple of those we're like you know yeah. take taking out taking out the guys but uh yeah it's what do you think about not getting kills though unless you are the one so it splits it so if if i knock him down and you do the finisher you don't get the kill i do what do no, you think? you get it yeah um i i like it because it means you can't steal other people's kills which happens a lot when mm. you have randoms online right because if right. you play randoms online on PUBG and you get the guy down and he kills him just because you're you're about to shoot him and he comes in and shoots him instead and you think oh you dick he gets the kill for that man <clears throat> which you, I, I hate that you nailed it in one i was gonna argue with you but i will i'll change my opinion i so originally i was saying i hated it because there were times where like i was finishing people and getting shot at and you know still getting hurt but finish somebody and i was sort of at the end going like oh fuck i didn't get that um but i think i know what you mean i actually i'll, I'll change yeah. I, I think i agree with you now that it um also i have to say though when you knock a dude down there is nothing more satisfying as, as sliding behind them because they turn slower and whipping around and fucking shooting them from the back and they're trying to get that shield around and you're just like ah. yeah. um, <laughs> him up. let's see play uh, let's see uh Furger Matt, I apologize if I got that wrong. Is there a wide variety of weapons? Do you like to uh, do you have to lead shots or is it like Halo where uh, there isn't much bullet drop? Some of them there's not much bullet drop. Uh, the more powerful ones, strangely enough, there were a couple that had a bit of a delay I noticed. Um but I would say there are a number of weapons overall. I think there's a, a good number for a free game. Plague Soul says nice. I love these kinds of BR games. Ghost says are you play uh oh he's asking what people are playing on. Um what do you guys think about finishers? I think overall, I could do without the finishers. As completely. What about you, Takedown? Too slow. Never use them without dying. Yeah. In fact, I would say we almost always were gunning them or trying to kick them from the back or whatever because the finisher, you're just... My God, some of them take a long time. Like, yeah, especially with teleporting woman. Yeah, they take forever, like throwing up a grenade, all this crazy shit. And you're like, really? Seriously? It's way too long for that. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the finishers in chat? Do you dislike them? Um, what else do we got to talk about in this? I would say gun skins are okay at best. <coughs> yeah, generic fish. Yeah, weren't, weren't really, it weren't really exactly what I was hoping for when it comes to the gun skins. Um, I think they I think they sort of lack a bit of a bit of punch overall. But could have been worse. Could have been worse on that. Uh let's see what else. Oh, the drop. The drop's the best part of that game. When you're dropping yeah. down and you have one person aiming and both people are looking and going, guys on the right red, guys on the left blue and trying to and then going like, okay, we have one primary drop. We'll mark the secondary one if somebody's near the primary one and trying to figure out and when you get that perfect landing like right at a door. It feels so good when you like land right at a door to a building and you're all, oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, what do you think about the guns? Do you think that the control of the guns feels right? I know you sometimes, because you're doing controller, have a, even though it's PC, you still have issues, like sometimes hitting people as much as you'd like. But do you think still, yeah. it still works good? You yeah, know, I think it works fine. No problems. Would you, would you say that um, it, is it is it a game that makes you want to grab a mouse and keyboard? No, no game's ever done that apart from RTS games. Oh right, because all the clicky clicky drag and all that yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, so between Anthem, Apex, and Division Two, which one has hooked you guys the most? Any of any of them have you hooked enough to find yourself dreaming about them? No, I don't. I don't dream about games. <laughs> I've been thinking about Apex a lot during the day. I. Guys, I want to make sure it's clear. Apex is free. And so and it's simple in in how you get in. Division has its issues and it's a complex RPG based shooter. So, I really had a good time with the Division. I loved the fact that I I was able to kill people, even the gold or orange dudes um it, with a couple headshots with the especially with the scar when I got it. That was a very fun um but I would say probably Apex, even though Anthem, we had a good time. 
Yeah, we that one was good. Yeah, we had we had one or two. What did we do? The stronghold, right? What the special? The, the... Uh, we didn't finish it because we had problems. I think with the server. But I think we had the best. I think we probably had the most fun in that mission. Yeah, yeah. the bosses. They all offer something different, right? Like that's yeah. that, that's the thing. And then you have Crackdown coming out, and that'll offer something. There's there's so many Far Cry New Dawn. There's so oh, many yeah. new games coming out. Um, if Apex had Titans, it would have hooked me though. I mean, I like it. I like, I love Titans. I think this is fine without Titans. In fact, Same. I would say the only way this would work for me is let's say it's the last two teams and a Titan drops. That might be fun. <laughs> yeah, that like, could be cool. So I think mean, Titans wouldn't be too, they'd be too powerful. Yeah. Cause you can, I mean, depending on what weapon and what armor you have a good shotgun with some mods can do some serious damage really fast in that game a, a titan feels like once somebody got it it'd just be yeah it'd be over be like a boss battle for everyone does anybody else feel that it was just put tight called titan or or pretended to be in the titanfall universe like nothing about this feels like titanfall right no, just to cash just to get on the name so it sells more even though it's free, so it makes no sense. Yeah, like I mean, why is it even? Why is Titan in the name, right? Like that's 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 how I feel about it. There's there's nothing in it that feels like that there's a reason for it to be called Titanfall or a reason for it to even suggest that it's about Titanfall. At least so far, yeah. maybe. Hey, who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe that's something in the future they're planning on doing. But um, let's see. I think it would be unfair with Titans or like Titans only mode. Yeah. Uh, Tori says, strange it's in the same universe to me. Agreed. Um, Fissure says, I'm worried about how many raid bosses there will be. Heard there was only three and one was in the beta. And he's talking about Anthem. And that is something, oh. yeah, that we've talked about as well. It does feel like Anthem's going to have the leanest amount of content. But it was still fun being a giant robot. Like overall, I think. Uh, let's see what else about it. What else about Apex? What else we got? Um, all I want to do is play it though. Now I want to have a little mini stream in the corner where I play it and people can watch while I talk. It's too good. The problem is, I don't think you realize this. You get real quiet when I play. When you get stressed out, you you do scream a lot. You and Abzi have a tendency to vocalize a lot, but you also get really quiet at times, and it's hard sometimes to figure out where you are. Cause you'll be like, like you're, cause you're concentrating. There's nothing wrong with this. So I, what I was saying was, I don't know if the podcast could continue. Cause I'd ask a question. You'd be like, <laughs> eh, what? that's true. That's what? true. Um, I would like to see the last three Titans getting their own Titan. That could be cool to see. Very cool. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would definitely be something that would be enjoyable. Yeah. I would say, I would say all of them have something to offer. Division turned out to be surprisingly fun. The vision turned it was really surprisingly fun. We had a good time. AI was hard, yeah. died a couple times, which was awesome because in the past, the AI was, I mean, I personally felt didn't flank near as much as it did today. Today, they flanked the fuck out of us, which was awesome. Like, I want it to be, I like Arma. Yeah. So if it can be nut crunchingly hard, I'd be completely happy with that. Well, that's what happened with, with Apex. We died, we were getting into the top 12 groups i think multiple times and uh, i other people i could tell they were getting a little depressed and i'm like to me this was the greatest you learn by losing man you like if you win if you ace people you're not going to get any better because that skill level's just never going to raise what the entire time we played i felt like we were getting better and we were coming we were sitting there in the midst of games going what if you do this what if you do that that's the kind of excitement around a game that i like Fisher says what would be the perfect br game in your opinion does apex's art style capture you yeah i'm not I'm not in love with its art style. I think it's pretty generic. And, and the heroes are really generic. The heroes look like they were run through a PC, like a politically correct generator. Like yeah. everything about them was just all, okay. There was nothing that was really epic feeling about them or unique. Um, I think Takedown liked the dude with the goggles. I think you said, you what, the crow guy? Weren't, didn't you say you liked his design or was that somebody else? No, he, he looks all right, but I mean... But none of them look, none of them really like capture, none of them look like heroes or legends. Yeah. No one's going really to be talking about them in a couple of months' time going, oh, do you remember that one? Yeah. None of them, like, none of them are like Ken from Street Fighter. None of them are iconic or. Or you got Fatty E Honda running around. Exactly. You know, which is why I picked him. He's the him. only one I'd remember. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, uh, Lantern Smite says, I'm hyped about Division 2. I enjoyed the first one a lot with Apex. Me and my buddies were consistently wiped, but it's a learning experience, and now we're racking kills. I wouldn't say we rack kills. Sometimes yeah. we do. <laughs> um, I would say we're probably right in the middle of how we play. We're definitely, there's definitely times where we'll be like, we're out. Like, let's go, because these guys are better than us. Let's wait till another team. And I'm predatory as fuck. Like, that's the one thing I, I always take advantage of two teams fighting. The moment two teams were fighting, I'm like, dude, let's set them up. Even if I just toss my special out there and see if we can get a kill or two, let's just do it. And that was fun to be predatory. You, there's these multiple play styles that, that are very cool. Um, let's see, what else? Sound effects. I thought sounds for the guns were okay. There was yeah, a couple that were, there were a couple that were lacking, but I think overall they were good. Also, the fact that you can hear the where they were. Like we like I'd be like 265 north. And, you know, everybody knew exactly what that was. They could hear the shots, you know, works well. Yeah, I wonder if what's very well. So, Matt. You're wondering if the hitboxes are different per character. The only thing I can say is this. Takedown was standing against a wall, and I was standing against a wall, and the enemy shot, and it went beside him, and I was behind him. It went beside him and into me. That would indicate that the wideness of the character at the very minimum has a different hitbox. If they don't, I would be quite surprised. I'm, I'm not saying... That, I, I don't want to say they do or don't. We were too busy killing and dying to really fucking test that out. But um, there were multiple times where I felt like I was wider than other people, as as was my character's design. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, what else? I don't like the colors of the items. I will admit that. Fucking hate it. Oh, the uh, he heavy, heavy light. I can deal with the purple, oh. uh, the heavy light, and trying to figure out what like. It just, it never felt exactly right to me. Like somebody would say, do you have light? It took me a while to even remember what light ammo was. You know, it's just like, I don't know what it is. It's designs were really generic, I guess. Yeah, so. I'd agree. Um, Berger Matt says, do you guys think this game has MLG material? Basically, uh, competitive gameplay material. I think it does take, uh, right now, Dr. Disrespect stream is him practicing for the $50,000 tournament Whoa. which so this pisses me off so they chose just the stop, top streamers to do this one of the things that's great about poker mode and in a lot of places is that you can have all these mini games and the best players from these mini games can can continue to win and go up and so you get a, a person who's a really good amateur player playing against a ranked pro player at times this is just like we're picking the top streamers who are most of them are apex partners and putting them in together to win 50,000. And not to be rude, but that's like getting the rich richer. Like, yeah. I'm not saying I would ever get there, but I would love, like, if Takedown did really well, I'd like to see Takedown and be like, dude, I'm in a tournament, <laughs> right? But I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it, it seems really weird to me that there isn't any way for other people to come in, join yeah. up, and, and really engage. I mean, I'd never obviously get far, but I haven't even got the opportunity to try. That's what sucks. Right. And wouldn't the opportunity be cool to even, even if you just went in and you were like, guys, we're going to try real quick to fucking see if I can get into this tournament. It would be so funny to watch Takedown try to get into the tournament. Like that I would, would be try so hard. I would. Oh, I, and I know. And I would be watching that. I would be like, I would be rooting the fuck for you because I can't root for these guys who are like 50,000 subscribers watching them every day. It's it's not as fun to root for them as Joe Bob with seven, you know, who works fucking as a logger and exactly. then exactly no underdog at all. Yeah, uh, it's such a one. Uh, yeah, it's like seeing pros versus noobs. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, wouldn't those guys play that game anyway? Since only games they play are BRs. Some, some don't. Some do. I mean, there's some top streamers that don't do any BRs at all. Rocky montage. <laughs> Joe Bob is a beast. I'd root for him for sure. Yeah, Joe Bob. That's the new guy. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's awesome, man. I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? What Loving it? Anything you really dislike about it? I mean, I'd like to critique it in some way. I mean, there's got to be, other than what I said, there's got to be stuff. Perfect. Oh, God. Here we go. Best game. I'm playing it right now. You don't even know in the background. Best game ever for a week, and then you'll be like, I could <laughs> Well, it's no Call of Cthulhu, but it's good. Ha have you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good game. You fuck right off. Have you ever... Do, do you do this all always in your life? 
where you get really <laughs> into something and then other than Dragon Ball, ignore Dragon Ball for a second. But do you find that you do this a lot in other elements of life too, where you're like best thing ever and then a week later you can't even remember doing it? Is no, that not really. It's not just, a guy ga really just games? Just games? Yeah, just games. I've never heard a person say best game ever more than you, by the way. Ever. <laughs> in my life. I've, my USP. Dude, it's, it's, it should be a, you should have a shirt called best game ever until. That should be your art. Because like I've never seen anybody be like best game ever, best game ever, best game ever. Ah, uh, uh, I saw body parts st says I still think they should force push push to talk unless you've got a three man team queued. What? I still think they should force push to talk unless you've got a three three man push team to queued. talk. Isn't that just where you push a button to talk? Yeah, I don't I, I don't know why you would force it or not force it. I, I, I don't well, forcing it is just called not having push to talk activated and just having chat. Yeah, that's how you force it. <coughs> I mean, I, I don't think they've got push to talk. I no, they do. Just got a chat. Do they? I think so. Um, uh, Lantern Smite says the way the weapons are laid out is sometimes a problem. Oh, they're random too, right? You walk it. That's the thing. There's no fiction around any of the shit. It's just shit thrown on the ground, and it's nothing. It, you'll run in. It's just some items, and a gun's not in there. Hey, Unka, thank you very much for gifting one, two, three, four, five subs. Total of 15 oh, so far. You drunken. rock, man. Nice. Absolutely excellent person right there. Thank you very much. I hope to get more people coming in and watching these. I, I'm still surprised Banter Files fucking somehow, somehow must, or, or got uh, um, exactly. almost, almost want, uh, rated as high as Apex. Even I wanted to play Apex more. That's how good Apex yeah. is. Well, you, you turn that around quick because you're like, <laughs> I want to play Apex and then we were doing something you're like holy shit ban like people actually want to watch banter files done exactly you're like done we'll just do that and we did <laughs> yeah thanks very much for gifting those subs man I, I i completely appreciate it so do they uh it, especially because now we know we can write these names down of people who did not have subs already and consider them basically just freeloaders so exactly you, right so all those people i'll just be like i know i know i'm just joking <laughs> just teasing okay what else do we got um uh, is there anything we want to add about the division? We had some, uh, we had some glitches. You okay? We had some glitches here or there, but overall, I think we found the division to be a a, a, a really happy surprise. What's up, Haven? Um, right. I would say we found division to be a surprise. You were pretty. Yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed what I played. It just it didn't keep me hooked as long as the Apex one. I don't know why. I could imagine I'd have to do division in shorter bursts. Well, I think also though, dude, we got caught in the division's ba boundary a couple times too. Like we wanted to explore. Yeah. So like, it was I, quite I mean, limited. See, I find myself I would definitely play Apex, but I don't think I'd play it for very long. Like I'm gonna return to it for sure. But I think with division, I like the loot. I like the enemy setup. I think it, you know, it's fun to continue to press forward. I think they're both. They both offer different things, right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's the way it is. Um, uh, Matt says, what was wrong with the Division 1? I, th I would say the Division 1's biggest thing was spammy enemies. And um, in this one, man, I was one shot in enemies in the head multiple times. So there, and also they have armor now. One of the coolest parts was there were enemies shooting at them, or us. We were shooting at one of the main enemies on any uh, shoulder armor. And that shoulder armor broke off and then stunned him. And then when you hit that spot, you did more damage. Are there underground Division 2 areas since DC doesn't have much in the way of subways? That's true. We went underground, but not for very long. Yeah, there is an underground city on the map, if you look. It's got an underground system where you can go around the map all underground. Oh, I didn't like... notice that. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. It wasn't open, I don't think. Okay. Uh, is there knife combat or stealth in the Division 2? I didn't get close enough. Um, I don't think there was not. I didn't have a knife in my inventory. I didn't have a knife in my inventory. Yeah, so I would say no. Um, Morphling says I really like Division Two beta so far, but I had one game breaking bug when at the end of the mission one of the enemies fell through the ground, and I had to restart the mission. Yeah, that that I mean that kind of stuff happens. I've had bugs with Apex though too. So I mean it happens. We jumped into Apex one time and fucking we're in completely different teams. So yeah, they all have. Yeah. Division 2 seemed too overwhelming from the five minutes I watched it. Players getting bombarded with side quests left and right. 
I didn't I didn't feel that overall yet. Doesn't mean I won't, but where we were going, um it felt pretty good. Plague yeah. Souls. I did. Crocodile Dundee might be a bit overwhelming. Oh yeah, the UI, right? In in Division. Yeah. It, the UI in Division, it's so it's fucking so big and so feature rich. One of the problems with a big men so that people understand why people bitch about a big UI. If you have data up in your top left and you have data in your lower right and those datas need to be compared for whatever reason, on a big UI, that's a bitch. And that that's one of the things a lot of UI UI designers will look at. And for whatever reason, Division 2 still has some issues with that where you get in and it's like, I have this gun and this gun. What's the, like level one, level five guns? And you're like, well, I sort of want the level one gun. What can I do to get it to level five? And then you got to figure out how to upgrade. And even salvaging wasn't working. So, yeah, there's definitely been some issues. What else do we got? Um, let's have a look. What did, what did everybody else think of the division? It looks like pretty much everybody's been positive on both of these. Um, what do you guys think of Anthem? How about that? Let's go with that. What did people think of Anthem? I want, I want to see what people, what people have to say. Just started playing Division now, five minutes in, kicked out a server. <laughs> Sorry about that. Indio says, oh, I guess half of DC stations are underground. I guess I was mistaken in assuming it was mostly above ground. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, but um, we'll get you playing with us. Oh, how many people can team up in Division? Is it in this four. new one? In this new one, it's four? It didn't, they yeah. didn't raise it. No. Uh, yeah, four. He's That's... My favorite the Anthem was the favorite for Necro. Anthem has a lot of well, potential. It felt great. Yeah, that is interesting. But I think positive. I think that's yeah, a, good. That's good. Like there, it just indicates that some people were were getting that shit and liking it. And there's nothing wrong with that. You get. Um, I'll definitely play both since they're they'll have a month apart. Yeah. Anthem was underwhelming. The gunplay was mediocre. The flying was the best part. Okay, I agree. I disagree. I would be the exact opposite. I think the flying was mediocre. I think the gunplay worked fairly well. But I wouldn't say either was either was great. Um, some of our specials I thought were cool though. I really enjoyed the yeah. the fucking Morningstar Robotech missile barrage kind of shit that you could do in Anthem. Uh, love the flying, hate the suits. Anthem turned out to be more fun than I expected. Jeez, these are all interesting. Plague Souls. Anthem got boring quickly for me. I will give it time before I jump back in. I feel like Warframe is in the same vein, and I spend much more time into that nowadays. Indio says, "Yeah, Anthem is about." Is all about the fanfare and the environment. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy, man. Crazy. We're getting into the biggest fucking craziest time frame. Oh, Matt says, I loved Anthem. Just worried about the lean content. Need more raid bosses. I don't care about the raid bosses as much as I care about the content of the main game. Like, because yeah. we didn't get to see the open world. We talked about this in while we were playing. I don't know if you guys were watching, but we were actually discussing this. We were like, in the main game, how much will I be able to explore and go out and fight the free, you know, like explore these new places? Is there a lava area, an ice area? Because all we saw was the same fucking four caves the entire time. That's true. Very generic areas. Yeah. So far. A lot of verticality. I think we both like that. Yeah. That's what I liked about the uh, Apex as well, the verticality. Yeah. Apex, when you get up on top of somebody and they, you see them run under you and you're all, oh yeah, you're mine. And the balloon. Oh, I love I love that balloon. Oh, the the, the redeploy balloon. You slide that. I use that whenever I can, dude. But here's the thing, man. If if people are good around you, those you're just a fucking bullet sponge, man. I mean, it doesn't take many hits when you're like da, 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 flying up like Mary yeah, exactly. fucking Poppins, right? And then that time, both you and I used it and went about five feet and then slammed into the fucking tree, or I slammed into the tree. You passed me. Yeah. And I'm like all excited. I'm like, We're, I'm like, I can fly. I can fly. I'm like Peter Pan. V Boom! Right into a tree. And I was like, oh shit. Uh, Discord is part of the patron. You have to go to the patron to do that. Um, they need a hero in Apex that can create a balloon like the robot that can make a zip line. What about that takedown? That Ooh. would be awesome if you had the ability. Yeah, no problem, Unka. Sorry, it's patron only. But there were so many problems when it wasn't patron only um, for the Discord. Sorry about that. What's up, Nav? Um, so, so what about this, man? A new character, and their ability is to launch the balloon, right? But maybe it's shorter. 
Maybe it's not as tall as the main balloons that mm. the game has, right? Maybe it's just a shorter, maybe it's a temporary balloon. It would be even cooler if it was like only worked once or twice or something. <laughs> People, yeah. One person slides and it's just like gone. Um, I'd like that. Morphlene says, I have a concern with Bioware being able to support the game with the content in the long run, given their track record with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Jesus Christ, I thought that's still getting content though. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm playing it right now. Like, there's new... They're all getting content. All those Star Trek, Star Wars, DCU, they all get support. Yeah, they all get continued support. I don't know what... I'm probably just not understanding that comment. Um, But I would... Oh, maybe he means because they're still supporting those and they don't have the time or something? Oh, maybe. But they've got different teams, I'm sure. Yeah, Luke Bashuda says, Best thing to do in these uh, service-to-play games is to wait a few months and get, uh, get it for half price with more content. Example, only three stronghold missions. Big problem with that, Luke. I agree. I think that would be a smart financial move, but many times people have moved on and you will miss that fun time. So you have to decide, right? Legalized Ranch says, don't have anything to add about Anthem or Division. Just wanted to say thank you for the quality reviews on your YouTube. You bet. Thank you for the bits. Also, reviews are not stopping. I just like talking to these guys and I like fucking playing games and I get a bunch of shit because people think I'm not reviewing. I have games to review. I just have not been uh, on code lists for a couple of these. So... You do not have to worry. Reviews will not stop. Uh, definitely. There will be even more, in fact. Um, what's Anthem's story? I, don't, I can't remember. I, <laughs> I can't remember. At all. I don't know either. I skipped, I skipped the cutscenes, though. You watched one of them, didn't you? Yeah, but I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember. Uh, there was a guy who turned into three dudes because of a time quirk moment. I don't remember. That is such a delicious question. Thank you very much. Best question so and that's far. That's a Bioware game as well. You should remember. Yeah, right. They have they haven't done well advertising the story at all. Oh man, I feel stupid, but I don't remember anything about it. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. Gub Tab says, "Would you recommend playing Hitman Season One?" Yes, I would recommend anybody play Hitman Season One and Season Two. The Hitman games are fucking awesome. These two new season ones. One. Oh. are amazing oh. games and you are absolutely missing out on some of the most enjoyable open world style or open level style uh, strategy slash stealth games ever if you don't give them a chance I'm not saying you have to like them I'm saying if you don't give them a chance you may find out you're missing out on one of the most enjoyable games in fact one of my friends who's a reviewer uh, number one was his game of the year and number two was a, was a contender um, Just checking, because I think they're on PS Plus Season 1. Necro says, also ACG, if everyone decides to wait, EA will quickly pull the plug. That's absolutely true. So let, let's discuss finance, financial, financial steps. If a person waits for a sale, which is a completely legitimate way of doing things, um, you're getting it for a, a cheaper price, but if it's a multiplayer game, you are looking at server numbers being low. This is something Takedown and I have had multiple times playing MMOs what have you, you have to, you have to know their server level and, and, and what support you're going to get there. Um, if everybody waits, then sometimes that's what you get. Sometimes you get a better product. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes patches cause the game to be less fun. Sometimes they fix a bunch of stuff. The problem is, is that they're all interactive, right? They can turn them off. You can't turn off a book. You can burn them, but technically when you get a book, it doesn't have to be patched. So page fucking 78 is in the book suddenly. And with games, that, that can happen. So jumping in right away can suck. I get it. Indio says they didn't put the story in the new demo. Oh, okay. I feel much less stupid right now. Because I... Wouldn't I, they, though? Pr uh, it sounds like the this was a bigger... This was... The private demo was just a, a snippet, so... Okay, makes sense. Maybe. Silent Solid says you can play the whole season in Hitman 2. Uh, or season 1 in Hitman 2. That's absolutely true. Um, Shadow says, what was the story of a Bioware game? We cannot remember, which says all about what happened to Bioware. Yeah, the problem is I can remember everything about Andromeda and Mass Effect. I just don't want to when it comes to Andromeda. Andromeda, so. good game. My favorite Mass Effect game. Shut I can't say it. I can't say it because I know you're not going to take me seriously. <laughs> I, I hate you. Um, I, I hate you. Uh, anyway, Anthem story. Battlefield ha, ha, ha. Hardline, best Battlefield game. Um, chat's going fast. Tori says, playing in the past couple days, love it so far. Anthem story, shoot, loot, and repeat. 
Takedown says the February offerings include the competitive melee action game For Honor and the full season. Oh, the first season's free? Yes. On PS Plus. Sorry, I didn't specify PS Plus. Somebody did right after you. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> games these days drop in price so fast. True. Funny Not Game says, I, don't, I disagree. If the game can't keep the people interested for more than a few months, then it ain't worth it. Not necessarily true, because if a game doesn't have people, it does not mean it's not good. We've all played amazing games that unfortunately, due to server populations, do not end up turning out well. Uh, Lantern Smite says, it's not the consumer's fault if said company did not invest in unhealthy practices. People wouldn't be the skeptic. Also, in, I don't think that's true at all. People are skeptic about everything, even the best practices out there. We're skeptical. And you take that skepticism... If you have a fucking bad car issue, you may take it into video games. Just going, I got burnt over here, and you take it in. I have people who are brand new into games who are very skeptical, not because of games, but because of whatever other entertainment they were in. <coughs> paintball, paintball, for instance, is one of the biggest ones where people have been very unhappy with paintball and came into video games. And so, and uh, by the way, everybody, I see fault being used. In no way, shape, or form am I talking about anybody being at fault. So I want to make sure. Uh, Tori says, best game ever. I don't know if he's asking, but let's answer. What's the best game ever? <clears throat> if that's what he's asking, then Jesus Christ, that's a, that's a question right there. Space Hair. Hardline. Oh, fuck off. See, you can't get a serious answer out of this jackass. Uh, best, best game ever. Space Harrier for me. Sega Genesis. Apex, PS4, and oh, PC. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't think. Um, Res uh, Resident Evil 4, done. What's my favorite game ever? Samurai Jack says, I think Anthem will be addicting regardless of the downsides. Possible. Tori says, no. I don't know what he's saying no to, but no. Necro says, KOTOR. <laughs> Dozel says, have you seen Deadfire's turn-based mode? It looks like uh, Divinity Original Sin. I did see that, and I'm really happy that they added it. I think that's cool. Dynasty Warriors was his answer for the best game. Come on, guys. Come on. Can't we? Oh. Okay. Um... Uh, let's see. People are laughing. Half-Life 1. Oh, good choice. New Vegas. Would you agree with New Vegas even being on the list of top, let's say, 10 Fallout New Vegas? I'd say it's in the top 10 Fallout games. That's about it. <laughs> I just got as far as I, go. I just got the joke. Wow, it took me a while to get that joke. It took me... <laughs> That's such a dickhead move. That took me a while. I was sitting there going, how many... Wait a minute. Oh, I see. <laughs> Um, <coughs> what what a jackass. Uh, anyway, Half Life. Let's see. Um, Samita subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Jesus, chat's moving fast. Witcher three. Witcher three. So Witcher three is amazing. Witcher three. So let me talk to you guys about getting games early and getting them, you know, late. One of the problems with Witcher three. I don't know if anybody remembers this. Prior to the control patch, if anybody can raise their hand and say they played Witcher three prior to the control patch, I can tell you right now. You might not be thinking that's the best game ever. They patched that to be 18 times better. The control in that game when it first came out had a lot, a lot of issues. <laughs> Zelda Twilight Princess is my favorite game. Did you see that? Take down. Do you want to go to war? No, I don't mind Twilight Princess. As long as he doesn't say oh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, it's Breath of the Wild that you don't like. Okay, gotcha. Necro says Half-Life 2 is easily in the top five Half-Life games. That'll be the new joke from now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Luke says, in Anthem, was there a way to go higher or lower? Unfortunately, you could aim up, but it would fucking electrocute you if you went too high. Very disappointing. Yeah. Uh, Necro, it was tough without the patch. I agree. I think Witcher 3 is great after the patches. Indio, I played the whole game before the control patch. I got used to it and didn't notice it after a while. That's how people respond to limbs being removed as well. You can get used to things. We're humans. Morphling says, I'm actually replaying Witcher 3 the third time. Dude, do, nice. Yeah, what are you doing with your life, man? Wait, still have to finish Blood and Wine. Is that for the first time? Because Blood and Wine is my favorite DLC in the history of DLC. Jack the Ripper for me. Oh, for I didn't play for that Syndicate. one. I always wanted to play that. Oh, Syndicate, yeah, worst Assassin's Creed game. I get it. When you die, I'm going to celebrate it. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. You should celebrate it by playing a Syndicate. I'm going to play Syndicate, and I'm going to just fucking go in there and hack it and put your name as J uh, instead of uh, Jacob. Jack. Um, Jacob, that's it. So you can't even remember the name. How would you know if it's good or bad? You can't remember anything about it. Maybe that's why, it's right? The, it's, 
It's in the top 50 Assassin's Creed games. It's easily in the top 50. It's easily in the top 50 Assassin's Creed games. Shogun 2 Total War. This is me being serious. One of my top uh, hours. Man, you you and Silver would get along incredibly yeah. well. <laughs> Um, never played that game. Prosono play or pro pro snoring. Pro -snoring? Yeah, it. sorry, it's from Warhammer. He's, he's, without he's pro snoring. Without patch, it was bad. Played it on release second time after patches. Um, Kangalang says definitely good argument for playing games at least three months after they came out. Yes, indeed. Bard's Tale Four was much better after they fixed things. I loved Bard's Tale Four day one, so I'm glad it's better. But I enjoyed it. Um, Nav says, yes, I remember how the controls were at first. I think he probably means Witcher 3. Old School Quake and Doom would be in the top five. Did you play those? That would have been way before your time, right? Uh, I've played them since, and obviously didn't play them when they came out, but I've played both. Actually, which ones were the Doom and... Doom and Quake. Would those be before your time? Uh, yeah, Doom was before my time. Quake was before my time, but I've played them both since, the originals. Um, Elephant, I still think the original Doom holds up. I do too. I do too. I think it holds up if you understand what it's what it was, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think with all these things, what happens is people hold them accountable against games currently, and you're like, eh. Speaking of that, yeah, you can't El do that. You can't. What, what do you think of the AC3 remaster trailer? Elephant says. Oh, I have is there a trailer now. Yeah, I have not seen it, but I will say this: Ooh. I believe that's Mr. Maddie's favorite um, AC game, so he's really excited for it. I oh, it, really? It was one of my least favorite. So that's what, uh, the, the consensus is that it's one of the worst in fan circles. Yeah, I mean, I, I, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it like it, it just wasn't for me. So I'm happy it's coming. Hearts of Stone is better than the base game, Blood and Wine, as well. Is that true? I love Blood and Wine. I love Blood and Wine. Blood and Wine's just set in like a fairy tale world, and it's just so colorful and beautiful. And it's got monsters and fairy tale aspects. I love it. Keep the questions coming, guys. This is a blast. Uh, Nav says, currently playing Odyssey and having a blast. One of the better AC games. Not as good as Syndicate, Takedown, and I would both agree, but still. <laughs> I would <good>. agree. <laughs> Syndicate is one of the best of the original, though, to be fair. That's true. Yeah. Uh, uh, Matt says, ever heard of Time Splitters 2? Of course. Who hasn't Who heard hasn't? of Time Splitters? Who hasn't oh. heard? Yeah. That's it. Uh, Who is that? That's not the same people that did. It's not Free Radical, is it? Yeah. Are they are they still going? Uh, I think that the IP was sold, if I remember right. Oh yeah, that needs to be remastered so badly. Unka's my best friend. He said Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament 1999, by the way, is what I mean. I don't know if you guys mean that, but Unreal Tournament, especially when you go in and you can change the bots to be very jumpy, so they look like people playing games right now. So good. Uh, Thief the Dark Project. These are some old school shit here. Pray, uh, they should have remastered a better AC, says Necro. Let's see. Fourth playthrough of Witcher 3 right now. What the fuck are you guys doing with your lives? How does anybody <laughs> have that? Games. That's fucking... No, it's just... That's insane because they... That's a fucking 400 hours could, or whatever. Could be playing Call of Cthulhu or some shit. It sounds like I'm joking, but I, I'm on chapter nine. And Shut, I'm really... I don't care if you I... like it. You're not a good judge of games. That game is not a game. It's a fucking, it's a story. It's a fairy tale book. It's written poorly. It's, it's got stealth sections. It's a game. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> Banter Files is just going to change to Files, and it's just going to be me. Shadow uh, uh, Shadows of Riley, who also, that is, of course, from... Um, from Cthulhu, AC3 remaster. It's a companion trailer where the new and the old version look the same. Indio, Quake 2 holds up, but when you compare the fact that Quake 2 came out less than a year before Half-Life, it doesn't. Oh, interesting. That's a very good comparison. Kangalang says, KOTOR, Dragon Age, Origins, Final Fantasy VII, and Divinity uh, OS2 for me, but some many in so many enjoyable games. How to judge them each against each other. Thief the Dark Project made me realize how important sound can be. <clears throat> You rock. Also, if anybody wants to understand how an amazing level is made, go check The Cradle, which is a write-up on Thief uh, 3's best level, maybe one of the best levels ever made in gaming, called The Cradle. Go check it out. Uh, <laughs> it looks bad. Which, which, what are you looking at? The Assassin's Creed 3 thing. It looks exactly the same, both sides, with the comparison. Uh, um, it's funny. Dragon Age Origins is one of the best, but doesn't hold up well. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Right, I've like, not played like Dragon Age. Okay, you did Inquisition. 
the MMO that was pretending no, to I've, not be I've one? I've never done any of them. Never done any. Why? I don't know. I know which is the one that came out on PS4 that I, I tried. Or I didn't uh, like Inquisition. It. Yeah, I didn't like it. Did you I didn't see like the combat system? Did you see my fucking playthrough of it? Let's play with Crimple Raisin. My fucking no. my messed up main character. Holy shit, he was nightmare fuel. You need to go look up Carrick's gameplay of Dragon now. Age Inquisition. It, and I've got his face on a lot of the fucking YouTube videos. He is crazy scary looking. Um Let's see. Command and Conquer, 100 bits. You rock Command and Conquer. Thank you very much, man. Just Dom Show says, hey, man, what's up? Thank you for joining. Give a tweet out, maybe post on Facebook if you have it. Tell people we're doing this. JT Savage, 500 hours on one playthrough of the Witcher 3 base game. Lost my entire save data. Ooh. I don't understand that. Like When people say I've got 400 hours on said game, I've never had that many hours on a game. I don't understand. I can't do it. I just cannot put that many hours into one game. Dude, I have that many hours. I have that many hours in Fallout 4 VR. Jeez, that's insane though. I can't do it. Once I finish the story, I'm done with the game. I can't. Uh, let's see. That Yeah, that's a lot. Unk says, yeah, 1999 Unreal. That game was amazing. Are you guys interested in Outward, a new RPG? Not only am I interested, I'm working hard on doing a preview, just uh, an exclusive preview with them just for... Uh, ACG on YouTube. I just want to say thanks to everybody showing up. We got 80 people in here when you could be playing Apex or you could be playing Divinity. or Div Sorry, Division, hey, not Divinity. You could be playing that. But thank you very much. Um, Takedown. Time Splitters is being remade. It is a private project called Time Splitters Rewind. I'm getting on that now. Cat Sleeve. How do you think Metro Exodus will do against Anthem? So, oh. I can't... I can't really discuss some stuff about metro just because there's there's some stuff going on <laughs> in the back end but um i w i will say that i think with i think with M metro there is a lot of negativity towards the store switch and i think that whether you agree with that negativity or not it it has sort of hit a crescendo and i think it's a little nerve-wracking for devs cuz you know a dev didn't wake up right Joe Bob, the programmer, is sitting there, you know, making textures for his game, and the people above him decide we're going to go exclusive to a store. And so it, it's incredibly difficult on them. And when we say we're going to, let's say, what's the term? When you say you're never, you're, you're, you're never going to use a publisher again, never going to buy from them. When you um, boycott, yeah, when you boycott stuff, you're, you know, you're boycotting a developer's life. For example, let's say. My mom worked in a school district for years. If somebody, something bad happened at school and they said, we're going to boycott paying schools, my mother probably had nothing to do with that. And that's a person's life. And so there's weird things going on with a lot of this stuff where I understand why decisions are being made. I don't like a lot of them though. And so I, I think Metro will do really well probably, but it's going to be, it's going to be covered with news stories. What are we looking at? <laughs> Your little guy from the game is horrendous. Cr Crimple Raisin? Dude. Yeah, he looks like a tiny little man dude, child. Dude, anybody who wants to see what you can do with a character generator and just horrifying results, check out the Dragon Age Inquisition playthroughs I did on YouTube. I think uh, I think Dragon Age Origins holds up better than Baldur's Gate, not just visually, but it's a little more functional, even <clears throat> though Baldur's Gate is a classic. Baldur's Gate has a soft spot in my heart, but I will concede that point. Uh, Shadow Warrior 2 is awesome. Dozel says Dragon Age Origins should have been what Obsidian should have aimed for with pillars. Fair enough. Rush. What's up, Rush? Have either of you ever put a game on the hardest difficulty Iron Man mode and completed the game? Did you enjoy it? Absolutely. Depends never. on the game. Depends on... The... Never? Never. Never. Start off on medium. If it's too easy, put it on hard. If it's too easy, put it on easy. Too hard, put it on easy. Well, you are that's, playing that's Call of Cthulhu where there's no real game, so I oh, guess... Oh, that game's hard so far. I've died nearly five times of boredom. I... I'm joking. It's a good game. I'm gonna... Dude, man, this is the last banter files. Enjoy. Um, I, I got... Uh... Uh, let's see. I have 1,000 hours in Final Fantasy fourteen. Necro says. Jesus Christ. I haven't got a thousand hours in life, let alone <laughs> Yeah. Um, I have maybe a thousand hours in sex. Rush says, or, or no, Rush, an we answered that. Shadows says, if uh, if we're still doing favorite games, System Shock and System Shock 2, you're my friend. System Can't Shock 2. Remaster. System Shock 2 is so 
fucking scary at times, and I never get scared in games. This is like something that's bothered me. I've never been scared in a game. It's System mm. Shock 2, the fucking screaming space monkeys just... Is it playable now, though? Or do I need to wait for the remaster? With a mod, it's playable, but you'd notice. You, it's okay. it's clunky. Yeah, it's clunky. Do you remember Deus Ex? Did you play those? Only the 2015, 17 you ones. You know how there's a lot of inventory play, playing around yeah. and shit? That does continue. So, I mean, other than that. But, no, I would say wait. I would say wait. Yeah, um, graphically, it looks like it's going to be difficult for me to enjoy. Yeah, Just Dom says Outer Worlds is going to be sick. I'm, I'm fucking crossing my fingers for Outer Worlds, man. I hope he's all right and doesn't get a cold, though. <laughs> it's going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking nerd this just a jackass this is why we do this because we have such a good time just fucking riffing on each other um damn steam says i have 2700 hours in warframe kangalang says how, oh how the God, fuck that is not worth it no what is wrong with you people uh morphling says that's who's having a second or that's why having a second monitor is good you can game and watch a stream at the same time true Plague says that's Monster good. Hunter World was one of the first game I put a solid two hours in, uh, two hundred hours. I can I can see that with Monster Hunter World. You get a good group of people mm -hmm. who are having a good time. Um, Dozel says exclusive preview for Outer Worlds. That's awesome. Uh, actually, I was talking about the other game, but funny enough, you mentioned that we are working on trying to get uh, some interviews. That's about all I can say for that. Supposedly, it is happening. K Vaughn, 500 bits, you rock. K Vaughn, thank you very much. JT Savage says, have you played the Yakuza games? Yes, and I've reviewed two. The Yakuza games, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2 is beautiful and really fun to play. The game is, and, and Zero was great. Six, I did not like. Six was the baby shaking simulator that we were always joking around. Did you watch any of that, Takedown? Uh, I think I watched Reggie's stream for a bit, yeah. Are you a Yakuza fan <coughs> i bought zero in the first one last week so i'll be getting into them i imagine i like them because they seem like my sort of genre to a t okay um i only play iron man mode in xcom games silent says yeah that'd be those kind of games are definitely enjoyable the uh, the uh, the xcom games in hard mode necro says did you see the author of metro write a post about not blaming the devs over the switch um no i didn't i i, I didn't i try honestly guys especially when i'm reviewing uh, people get pissed at me but I try to not read any of this stuff because I actually want to review what somebody's going to get for 60 bucks. Because if you're somebody who's following all the news, you, you, you know, you're going to have all those preconceived notions, that kind of thing. And so a lot of times I'll sort of go on a media blackout a little bit. Um, so I haven't checked into that. Witcher 3 was a pinnacle of gaming. Mm. Mm. I'll let people in the chat discuss if that's true morphling says it'll be sure to or i'll be sure to buy metro in a year when it's back on steam <laughs> there you go lantern smite it's easy to make judgments without a greater scope of things absolutely true morphling says or uh, good old games not just going to touch it on epic store uh luke says awesome looking forward to this outer uh, outward looks like it's doing some really interesting stuff yeah outward looks awesome with like the backpacks being a major part of the game such a different idea just dom says it'll be interesting to see how much fallout influence will be involved in these titles Samurai says, I love being, I love being pissed off. Oh, from hard mode. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Necro says, System Shock 2 loses all of its scare factor if you play in co-op. I would, I, aren't most horror games like that? Yeah. Right? Like, at least for me, uh, horror is solitary, right? Because if you've always got a best friend, then it, it, yeah, it's just not as scary. Um, Let's see. Uh, Morphling says, I couldn't go to a zoo without a wrench after playing System Shock 2. Exactly. I have 800 hours in Overwatch. Nope. Call the police. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Lantern Smite says, have you seen the latest trailer reveal from Three Kingdoms Total War came out today? I have not. I will watch that. Um, we have a couple in the Discord. We have a big kingdom. Or a, a, a big, well, not only him, but I was sorry, I was going to say a big group of Total War fans. Oh, there's so. a few people. Silver posted it, though, and I, I was going to watch it. Yeah. Um, Halo Reach, to me, is still my favorite game. <coughs> JT Savage says, Halo Reach, really? That's something I'll, I'd say, isn't it? I, I, yeah, I can't. I, I mean, I'm sure he means it. I would say Halo 3 I liked better, but I, Reach was a definitely a, a cool ending, I will say. For anybody who hasn't beat it, it's got an interesting ending. I'll say that much. Necro just yelled, NERD! True enough. Let's see. Matt says, only game I've ever played in the hardest difficulty is Outlast 1. That's the scary one, right? 
Yeah, that's the one with that giant dongs hanging out. I love that game. Love. Because of the dongs? Well, that's a bonus, but I just love the... I love the game. It scared me. I haven't played the second one yet, though. Uh, Praetorian says, Hope Obsidian is back on top of the game with Outer Worlds. Alpha Protocol dialogue choices have better repercussions than Mass Effect 2 and 3. Praetorian and I, best buds as of right now. Because I would agree with all that. Let's see. Hardcore mode in Resident Evil 2 was phenomenal. Has Takedown played Resident Evil 2 yet? Takedown. Who else? Uh, are you asking me? I'm asking you. I sounded like someone in the chat. I was like, ooh. <laughs> no, I haven't started yet. I'm waiting to finish this game called Call of Cthulhu that I'm really enjoying. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> you can fuck off. Uh, Halo 2 was the best. Um, Halo 2 was the best. Multiple people are saying that. Paranormal Destruction. What's up, guy? What's up yourself? Civilization Games and Crusader Kings were my favorites over the Total War series. I liked Alpha Protocol despite its flaws. So did I. Alpha Protocol was one of the first games I'd ever seen where a main side character can die and they you continue the game. Matt says, can you imagine a Halo 3 or Halo 2 Battle Royale game? Yes, we've, we actually talked about that a couple times in different podcasts. I actually think yeah. that's... Guys... I think it's going to happen. Right, they don't call it... Sorry. Microsoft didn't trip over the name Infinite. That's not, that's not how they name things. So I have a feeling it'll have a BR mode. Right? Wouldn't they be dumb to not have a BR mode? Wouldn't it be the it. dumbest thing in the world to not do that? Like it's Microsoft as well. They like to copy other people's. They stuff. do. They do. Microsoft is very good at iteration, not necessarily generation. You know, like generating their yeah. first thing doesn't always pan out. Uh, yeah. But they, are, I would say, they they take the cake when it comes to understanding. They're the total opposite of Nintendo. Right. 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 Um, Plague Soul says, "I know Doctor Disrespect wants a Halo BR game." Well, I'm sure he'd love it. For him, it'd be another 100,000 subscribers in a single day, right? Like, that game, I'm sure, it's, it's I'm Halo. sure he could afford to make it himself. Right, with him, with him dancing in his bedroom and <laughs> shit. He cracks me up. Just, he... The thing about Dr. Disrespect people don't understand is that... Well, like, understand why I like watching some of his stuff is because his shit cracks me up because he, he has nailed Twitch to a T. No one... Here's the problem. No one can be anything like him because everybody will say you're just like him. He's that big. So you can't be over the top as much because people just be like, you're trying to be like him, blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, he just, he's nailed it, man. He he understands everything about Twitch and he's done spectacularly well. And bravo to him for that. Plague Souls pictured or posted a picture of nothing but Total Biscuit. And I don't, I don't remember what that one means, what that emote means. Lol, I guess. What else oh, do we got? Here's a good question. Southern Calamity says, anyone else enjoy Mario Rabbids 30 hours and loved it? Great game, right? Best game on the Switch so far. Best game on me. the Switch. Best game on the Switch. I think I like Skyrim on the Switch better than other platforms, but I think Rabbids is the best Switch title overall. Yeah, 100%. Right? People don't realize that when you look at XCOM games, very few XCOM, XCOM games handle changing the entire world to something else. We uh, Takedown and I played Phantom Doctrine. Phantom Doctrine's a title where... You know, they tried to change it to something different and it didn't really work out. Rabbids yeah. changed XCOM to movement. They made, instead of defense, they made movement the big thing. And no one else has been able to look at a game title like Ubisoft and Nintendo and say, we're going to take this and we're going to flip it on its head. It'll still be playable, but it, it's, it's, uh, it's augmenting something you had never thought of. Um... Will I review the new Total War game if I get it? Whatever happened to K Tron on t Twitch? K K Tron? Oh, Casey Casey Tron? Yes. What's that? I don't know. It's obviously someone on Twitch. I'm assuming they're hot. I'm gonna have a look. I'm assuming they're hot. Is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't follow much on Twitch. There's like four people I follow, and I follow usually just because they're goofy and shit like that. Keep keep the questions coming if you guys have any. Now's the time to ask him. We will definitely try to get to him. So is everybody... Let's do thumbs up, thumbs down, or scale of 1 to 10. What do you guys think is going to happen with Outer Worlds? I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, is, is Obsidian going to nail it or not? Like, I it's it, it makes me really nervous for some reason. Because Obsidian does not do um, uh, QA well. And I don't want to play another game... Um, you know, 
where there's a bunch of fucking bugs and shit. That's just me. What are you looking at? I'm watching the trailer of his hot girl in the film. Is it the now. Twitch person? It's just a, no, no, it was a Twitch trailer while I was waiting to, for Twitch to load back in. But Luke, she was hot. Luke, Luke says, just want to say thanks for the great reviews. No bull. The shit always tell people to check them out. Thank you very no much, man. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, it's all takedown. It's all takedown. We don't like to tell people, but it's all takedown. Basically, I just go, sup everybody, this is Carrick with ACG, and once again, it's my continued mission. And then from that point on, we just adjust takedown's voice to sound just yep. like mine. And he fucking goes for it. It's all takedown. He's the one with all the similes sure. and the metaphors and, and all that crazy shit. It's um, true. But no, I definitely do appreciate it, especially in this day and age when, like, you know, so much money is being lost on Patreon and all that stuff. It's it, it's great. It's definitely awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, People are saying Outer Worlds is going to make it. I hope it crushes it. Eight out of ten, they're going to nail it. Uh, going to nail it. Going to do awesome. I'm skeptic, but fingers and toes crossed. 21. If they just replicate the new Vegas DNA and inject that into a fresh IP, they could make the new Fallout. I only trust ACG reviews, to be honest. Matt. The honest truth. Man. I know. Matt, I know, Jen. Matt. Do not ever do that. There are tons of other honest people, and I know that that mm -hmm. was a kudo for me, but I have to stop all this. Don't fucking do that, man. Because the moment you disagree with me, the moment you think I missed something, you're going to fucking leave or you're going to have a panic attack and think I got fucking paid in, you know, boxer briefs with my name on the crotch. Don't find people you like and you trust. That's great. But don't just trust me. There are other people out there that you can trust. They may not always fit exactly what you're hoping for. But I mean, look at Takedown and I, we disagree on 99 percent. True. Of uh, so I'm just joking, we don't we, we disagree very rarely, but when we do we we usually find a game that's actually pretty diametric you know pretty diametrically yeah. opposed so call, of cthulhu. call it cthulhu for instance which isn't a game fuck off but um <laughs> i, I want to make sure i'm not talking down you know I'm, i would never talk down to you that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying please don't don't put me in that position because i, I mine will be trustworthy for my experience but there's going to be times where i like something or don't like something and I always tell people whenever anybody comes into the Discord, even with Takedown Dance, and whenever anybody comes into the <laughs> Discord and they're like, I love you, man, blah, 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 they're the first ones to leave because they're so emotional about it. Just make sure you understand that, man. I mean, it's there's a lot of people out there that can be trustworthy. If you just want to watch me, I love you. But remember, we will, we will definitely disagree. Nav says, have you guys talked about the escape room you're planning? No, let's talk about the escape room. I don't know what this is. Take down, you know, why do I have you on banter files? It. It's in the Discord. I've posted about it like fucking 45 times, you gank. Yeah, but I don't know any details about okay, it. Okay, so let's put, let's put Takedown up on a shelf for a second so he can go find out what the fuck we're talking about. So there's an escape room I'm doing in Discord. What I'm doing is, and here, here he goes. We have no clue. He's just leaving. So what we're doing with the escape room is um, I've got an escape room with audio. We're running it. I've already checked it out, made sure it works. There's a couple of podcasts you can find where they do uh, escape rooms. We're going to run it for Discord people, and it'll be about five or six people a shot. And what an escape room is really when you think about it is sort of like a mix between a Dungeon and Dragons game, but with far less you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about your character or anything like that. You just are trying to escape some situation. And so we're running it, um, I would say next week, probably after the reviews drop on the 15th. So, and I'm, I'm, st I'm stoked for it. I ran it with a group privately just to see what would happen. And it turned out awesome. Takedown, you can come back now. Uh, let's see, unless he's peeing, he's got the fucking mic on like naked gun. Cypress says, hello. Lance says, hello. Maltov Michelle, hello. Hello, everybody. Luke says, as long as your expectations are in check, they already said the game is uh, not going to be huge so they can make it tighter. That is for Outer Worlds. Totally true. The Mab says, TK has three new studios, a new Bioshock developer, Mass Media Studios, and now 2K Silicon. Are we having fun? No, no one's having fun. Michelle says, there will come a point. Carrick will have a different opinion. That is true. Uh, wow. Uncatamus Prime. I don't know what that means. You got box of briefs with your name on the crotch? I do. Let's see. Dozel says, dude, Obsidian's buggy games were eight years ago. It's almost completely different studio. That is incorrect. Sorry. It's it, they, they still have issues there. Absolutely. At least in my opinion, when it comes to bugs. 
Cypress Smurf. Is there a link to purchase the carrot crate? No, there is not. Um, I have been burned too many times. I try to have high hopes for a game until I see the reception by reviewers. That makes sense. A, a, a sneaky fat cat says, I dis, I don't agree with ACG most on most things. There we go. See, uh, just listen to IGN. You'll never buy another. <laughs> You'll never buy another game. Deep Space says, your channel puts out enough content to keep my daily commute interesting. Thanks. No problem. Plague Soul says, Call of Cthulhu, best game ever, 10 out of 10. Did you hear that takedown? He's shaking his head. This guy, tr this guy fucking sh brushes his teeth quite a lot. Takedown has easily the best oral hygiene of any person I've ever known. And the creepy thing is, he always brushes his teeth after pissing. Put that in your brain pan, stir it around for a bit, and tell me you're not going to have nightmares about it. Uh, let's see. Funny Not Game says, since Maneater is coming sometime in the future, have you ever planned or heard of Jaws Unleashed? I played Jaws Unleashed. I like it. But I got to say, M Maneater looks amazing. If anybody doesn't understand what Maneater is, it's a fucking uh, RPG with a shark. And to me, that's ace. You never trust the cats, only the dogs. Uh, let's see. I'm not kidding you, Molotov says. Wow, that's a bad pun. Uh, let's see. Good comeback. These guys are now talking about evil cats. A dog will snitch on you. Fun isn't allowed. He's going to return with a toothbrush. Oh, you called that. He did. Uh, just watch Maddie's video on Outer World. I get more and more intrigued. Uh, Wombuts, subscribe. Tier 1, subscribe for two months in a row. Thank you very much. Cat Sleeve says, I called it. Can't wait for Maneater. Yeah, so Maneater, you know, you look at these games, these titles that are coming out, there's a lot that are sort of overlapping each other, right? You have like, you know, whether it be your Outer Worlds or whatever, they're RPG-based this, they're open world this, they're hub-based this and that. Maneater, in some of the ways, is the same way. Open ocean, but it's a fucking, it's a shark, man. It's a shark RPG. You gotta sit back and just be like, that shit's awesome. Multop says, Carrick, what have you got planned for the weekend? Anything exciting? Uh, we're going to play some more games. I'm going to review New Dawn. I'm, I'm going to, his teeth are now fresh. I'm going to review New Dawn. I'm going to review, um, one game I can't say, and I'm going to review, uh, uh, Crackdown 3. Let's Isn't see. Is it Manny a song by Nelly Furtado? That's what I'm thinking. She said, Manny, they're going to work. Huh? Yeah, it's a song. Why'd you come back? Because I need to have a... <laughs> Uh, does Maneater have a release date? I don't know. Um, let's see. Wasn't Maneater on Epic Store only? I think it is. You can customize the shark's teeth. That's awesome. I have a date this weekend. So nervous. You're going to nail it. That'll be fun. I want to hear the story. I want to hear the story, especially if he doesn't meet up to your expectations. What do you think? Mich I think Michelle has high expectations or high. What's the term? Um, requirements for a boyfriend, don't you? Like she's probably yeah. like has to like these games. Has to like cats because she's got cats. She's in the Discord, so you know that she's got she. They they they're required to like cats, which a lot of people don't. They have don't. to. They have to. You don't like cats. I hate cats. I think okay. cats are evil. Okay, so so you have to like cats. <laughs> I can't remember what her favorite game is. I think she liked Witcher Three. You can't like the Epic Store because I remember that. Oh, uh, she here we go. She says I do not. I've not had one for years. Uh, <laughs> yes, must like cats is a must. Okay, must like Doctor Who. So whenever you've gone out with somebody, take down. Do you do you have like a requirement list? Is it pretty long, or are you just like yeah. as long? Must be breathing. Must have hair. Must have the right body parts for the specified gender. Uh, must have a personality that is slightly interesting. Not much. Must have nice teeth. Te teeth's a good one. If they've got like gappy teeth and shit, then they can get it right out. Do you know the term in America, summer teeth, as in summer teeth and some aren't? Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's the old term. Um, oh, feel sick. Yeah, I would say my, all of <clears throat> my requirements for dates, just if it's takedown, it'll be fine. If it's anybody else, no can do. I've known him too long. He's replaced. Uh, he's he's the love of my life. Must love Call of Cthulhu. Must love Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, come on. Now you guys are just being assholes. Um, <clears throat> night, nice, nice, nice teeth. Teat. Oh, I get it. Night. Uh, I think oh. it means nice teeth. Or Why it means nice tit. <laughs> I think because cause teat is a uh, slang for tit. Oh, okay. I wish my fiance played games. She hates games. How did that ever happen? That would be tough. I don't think I don't if, if I had somebody who hated anything I did, I don't know. I don't know. 
like that'd be that'd be hard to marry them. I'm pretty yeah. open about what I like. Like I'm like I like video games. I like airsoft. I like this. I like that. And it's just like you have to fucking deal with it. And then they tell me that I have to do certain things. I'm like, no, I don't. You still like me, and it works. Exactly. Do what I want, not what you want. Could you imagine takedowns date conversations? He, no. And I don't, we're not going down the, the fucking disastrous road of any of takedowns dates. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. My actual requirement is many dates, but no, second no dates. second dates, right? Exactly. Moltov says True. my actual requirements must like cats, kind to everyone and every, uh, uh oh, oh shit moved on kind to everyone likes animals in general, plays games and keeps up with the new movies. That ain't too bad. Sounds he, like me. It, it does. He does work in a cinema, though. Oh, you mean like a movie theater? That could that, that's not too bad. He could get you into the early theaters, uh, early movies. Matt says, "Have you played Crackdown Three on Metro?" I cannot speak of those. Moving on. Maltov says, "I have another date next week with a girl too, so I don't think that would be so bad." But what if the girl and the guy like each other, and then they also like you? You're good to go. Yeah, you're good to go. Lands by Tossin says, I know the feeling, though my wife is just indifferent unless it's a beat saber. Beat saber sounds dirty as fuck, right? Everyone's got a wife. Jesus, what am I doing with my life? Well, take down your in your underwear and it's like <laughs> one o'clock. No, what it's, time is it? Where 10 p.m. Okay, you should be at a party fucking group and <laughs> your life away like Night at the Roxbury. Why are you not Raising at some... Roof. Yeah, why Why don't you have a mouthpiece on chewing your gums because you're fucking high on some disease or uh, some fucking crank or something? No, that, that would be me at a party just sitting in the corner. Yeah. Dribbling on myself. Taking an LSD or some shit. Dribbling on yourself. Speaking of you pissing <laughs> with the toothbrush in your hand. Uh, Meat Saber. <laughs> Samurai says. Yeah, what, what Beat Saber, some of these names, Maneater I liked, though, as a name, but Beat Saber, when I first heard about it, I thought it was a Japanese porn game for VR. Like, that's honestly what I thought, because I, I hadn't known. Um, yeah, Lance. Ha ha. High on some disease. Yeah, I messed that up. Uh, takedown. Comparing himself to Stephen Hawking, <laughs> Matt says. Takedown. Wow. Takedown can't do that. He's nowhere near. Uh, Sudden Calamity says, My girlfriend of three years used to dislike games. Now she has her own PS4, own TV, and her own collection of games. Nice. Take, Takedown just posted a YouTube video. Why do I not want to... Oh, Nelly Furtado. Mania. Did... Oh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. Keeping Sorry. it... Oh, my legs. Keeping it relevant. Shadow said, Turn my wife into a gamer. GM, vampire, Cthulhu, and D&D with her and her friends. She has more hours in Breath of the Wild than me. Breath of the Wild, divorce. Divorce. We're going to go to the cafe first, then to visit a nearby <laughs> castle. Jesus Christ. Man, I all I did was I just took all my dates to the porn shop. Look at this shit. Like, fucking castle nearby, comic store. I know, all... that's Wales for you. Is that where she's from? Is that where she lives, she's is Wales? Wales? I'm pretty sure she said Wales in the past. Imagine being able, like Reg, to just be like, I'm going to go to the Alps. I'm going to go exactly. to a... Right? Like, I'm going to go to a castle. I'm like, I'm going to go to a tree. Because that's all Michelle we have can, where I live. Michelle can be like, I'm going to go and fight a dragon because she's from Wales. Well, not fair. <laughs> I could fight a dragon. That escalated quickly. Speaking of dragons, let's move this thing on. My wife hates me, made me trade in The Witcher 3. I hope that's not real. I hope that's not real. Uh, Matt says, does she have Sims 1 through 5? Hey, Sims is one of my favorite game series of all time, so let's not knock on The Sims. I don't want to get into that. So what do we, what do we got next? What's next to talk about? Throw us a subject. Do we have yes. any weird news? Do we have any weird things that have been going? You know what? I feel like we're almost close to war. Right now. Maybe. Me. Dude, doesn't it feel like a video it, though? game out of it after, though. Can you what? imagine if we're like, in 100 years, we're the subject of video games that World War II veterans were? How weird that would be. But the, the, I don't think that's too crazy. I mean, look at the, like the nations and everybody fucking breaking the treaties. We've broken ours. Russia had broken it already, though. But I mean... All these nations breaking treaties. Yesterday, three nations tested nuclear weapons. It's like everything's just escalating so quick. Maltov yeah. says, are you reading any comics or books lately? I picked up a new one called Damage, basically DC Hulk. Oh, called Damage. It's basically DC's version of Hulk. Um, Takedown doesn't do comics, right? No, I can't read. Takedown can't read. It's, uh, uh, it's just unfortunate, but no, he can. Let's see. What about me... I am reading uh, Lawrence Krauss again, trying to get through that fucking membrane book of his. Lawrence Krauss is a difficult read. Sims 4 was yeah. a disappointment after 3's Open Towns. 
Uh, now that I have three and four, I like four much better because three runs like shit, even on new PCs. Um, Deep Space says Disney doesn't care about Star Wars games. That's true. Moltov says she will read the takedown. <laughs> we'll do a Discord. You can just lay back. You can just be I'll like, be in bed. you can be like, okay, read to me. And Michelle, uh, Michelle just like Stephen Hawking. Yeah, and hey, Michelle will just read to me. Oh, with your electronic voice. Please, read to me, please, Michelle. You do that. You do a fake electronic <laughs> voice pretty fucking well, to be honest. Like, I'm a little surprised how how good you do that. I have a feeling you've done that before, teasing, I have. Uh, being politics, being politically incorrect and teasing him. Phone sex. Oh, well, will you take your clothes off? Phone sex. Wow. Let's see. A good book or audiobook is The Land, a lit RPG. Check it out if you can. It's amazing, amazing. Amazing, amazing. Wow. I charge extra for ASMR, Maltov says, to take down. Take down pays more for ASMR, so you're good to go. It's true. Remember when we were doing that for a long time in the chat? We'd jump yes. into the ASMR channels and the fucking... Uh, what's that one channel that sold the game keys? Uh, the, the fucking... Oh, the girl one. Yeah, where it's just all girls talking to the screen. Oh, what was it called? They, they can barely speak English. Um, oh, they shouted out to me like because I kept typing in the chat. Hey, girls. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, I, I, we got her to say like ACG, and and they can't, you know, because they're reading from the teleprompter. They're like ACG, the best. <laughs> it was just like, what the fuck good. is this? They had That's like, all, they had like three thousand people. All, all key shop. Yeah, they had like three. They still probably are there, and they had three thousand, four thousand people watching at that time. Yeah, it was insane. That was good. Um, I like Terry Brooks' books. To be honest, uh, those are Isn't sort of a light fantasy. No, he did uh, the Shannara TV show that was canceled recently. Oh, who am I thinking of? Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, he was like, he doesn't write books. What the fuck? He's in Crack Down 3. He's too busy for that oh, shit. Oh, man. The fucking first name's the only... They couldn't be more different. Terry Crews, 85-foot-tall, giant black man, super loud and brash. <laughs> And Terry Brooks, a little tiny itsy bitsy dude, elderly, about 76. Like there's <laughs> quite literally could not be different people or more different. Um, yeah, I like his books. I think they're actually pretty good. Have we been watching any shows lately? Together, no. Well, we, we usually we overlap. Have we been doing, have you been watching um, any, uh, any um, Arrow? Any I haven't actually. Oh, yeah, I did the Arrow Flash Supergirl um, crossover. Oh, what'd you think? I haven't got a chance. Have you seen it? No. Oh, okay. It's basically it's a it's a prelude to the one that's coming out in the middle of this year. So it's a little. It's a four. Uh, how many? Three part series, which sets up the bigger series, which is another three part coming out in the middle of the year. So this one was called Elseworlds, and the next one it's setting up for is going to be called Infinite on, or Crisis on Infinite Earths or something. Okay, gotcha. What did you think so, of it? It was good. Okay. But it was just, it was very small when it had a cliffhanger because it's setting up for a big one. So you know, it's a bit annoying. I know that people don't like whichever one they don't like, including me and Legends. I'm not a fan of the Legends, oh, Legends. one. That's, it's um, not part of this crossover, thank fuck. But here's the thing they're good fun to sit down and watch. That's what I like. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., same way. It's just stupid yeah. fun. Mom, Mom is great uh, uh, with Anna Ferris and uh, Alice and Janie from West Wing. I just. I don't really have huge high expectations for TV shows. I just, they're, if they're great, pu Parks and Rec, like if they're amazing, then they're amazing. And if they're just okay, they're just okay. Land says, well, yeah. I'm off. I need to go get some sleep. Going to be alone with the kids the next 10 days. Your wife left you? Sorry. Just joking. Um, Magicians has started back up. So Magicians is a little crazy to me just because they're most of the time, 90% of the time, too busy fucking to do anything. We're like, it, 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 I mean... Which is cool to watch, but um, Magicians has been, a, it's a, been a little bit hit and miss for me. We got to two seasons ago and then stopped, so I'm behind by two seasons. Uh, Land Spy Tossin says, nah, she has to. Okay. And Matt says, no, if the wife left him, he would only have them on weekends. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sneaky fat cat says, what about Deadly Class on sci-fi? I've not heard of that. I've not heard of that either. There's so many too shows. Too many shows. Yeah, too many. And do you know what I do? I'll talk to these guys about a show, and somehow I'll fucking turn Parks and Rec back on. Like, I'll be watching a show, and I'll be all da 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 and then Parks and, I'll see Parks and Rec after I watch one or two episodes of a new show, exactly. and I'll go back to it. I would say Travelers is probably the best new show I've ever seen. 
Um, it's done now, but that was that show was incredible. Good ending because they didn't know if they were coming back. Uh, sad that it's not coming back. Travelers fucking nails it. Um, I like. I know Takedown doesn't like it anymore, but I still like Gotham. This will be the last season, so I'm really interested to see how they wrap that up. The Expanse. I like The Expanse. Very dark sci-fi. Very, very deep sci-fi. I don't think Takedown's seen The Expanse. No, I haven't. Um, if anybody wants, if anybody is okay with slower detective shows, Bosch on uh, Amazon, it's the the main actor who plays him is always a bad guy in every movie, and this is the first TV show he's ever been on or movie he's been on where he's not a bad guy, he's a good guy. Bosch or Bosch, um, that show is fucking fantastic. Are you climbing a Versa climber, or what are you trying um, to mimic? Doing some exercise. Is that Steven your equivalent? Lifting air. This is what Stephen Hawking used to do. I'm just following my hero. Shadows of Riley says, Bosch is so great. Season four is coming soon for the Expanse. Command says, what about the Orville? Orville's better than Star Trek Discovery by about 8,000%. Orville's fucking hilarious. You watch that, right, Take that? Never seen it. <sighs> You're playing... Nobody else, so he's, we can be free. He's playing Cthulhu, but he hasn't seen Orville. Okay. See, that's, that's why you can't trust him. Uh, Praetorian, I would have to say... <laughs> I thought Sneaky Pete was awesome until it's it, it, until mid season, and then I've lost interest. Um, Titans was pretty good. Can't wait for Swamp Thing. Yeah, I'll check out Swamp Thing for sure. Maltov says, "Do you plan on interviewing for the moderator position?" Sorry if this is the wrong place to ask. No, it's not. Uh, I'm just getting more uh, applications before. Would I interview for it? This guy. I won't interview. What I will do is have a discussion with each person on exactly what the expectation is and see if it fits with them. Because I want a moderator who wants to be a moderator, um, but who understands that, unfortunately, as a moderator, there's some things you like can and can't do. Um, as the owner of the channel, I can do it all, and even that's not necessarily always proper. So even I've had to control myself. And so I've got to dance around that, talk with everybody. I saw you. I think I have, like... Six or seven DMs, as well as the five or six in the moderator thread in Discord who asked to be moderators, which is cool. And I definitely appreciate people's excitement for, for being a moderator to the Discord. It's the best Discord I've ever seen. Like the Discord's, it's it's saved my life a couple times, especially when I'm like super like tired or whatever, going in there and laughing with these guys. So um, I will definitely get on it. Let's see. Can't wait for season two of Altered Carbon. Did you see that yet, Take Now? No. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, what are you doing with, with your life? What are you doing with your life? You don't have a date. You haven't seen any shows. Playing Call of Cthulhu and Battlefield Hardline. Shut up. M shut up. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, whatever. You're not playing that. <laughs> Moltov says, I was considering to DM you to ask what you actually wanted. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's on me. I should I should have done that, but I think it'll be different for every person who wants to be the DM a little bit. Uh, what, what I mean by that, or to be the, uh, to be the DM. To be the admin a little bit because um, it'll <laughs> to be the DM. <laughs> some pe some people can only be on let's say European time frame. Some people can only be on American time frame. So there might be a, you know some differences there. Uh, let's see. Silent says scene rectify probably one of my favorites. Haven't heard of that. Dozel says when is Witcher Netflix? That is next year, right? Witcher's next year, isn't it? Take down. With, yeah, it, with your favorite so. actor, Henry Cavill, or whatever his when, name is? When he learns to act, it will be on then. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Game of Thrones He's not soon. doing Superman, though. He's not doing Superman anymore. Yay! Oh, wow. You got burned. Rush says, with how many things Takedown hasn't done or seen, is being on Banter Files really a good time spin? <laughs> for me, it's oh! not a good time spin. Oh, man. That's it's, awesome. It's a good time for everyone else. It's not for oh, me. Oh, man. Sorry, there's no way to get around that. There's, we, need, we need to have an intervention for Takedown. We need, to be, we need to put some clothes on Takedown and get them to go out on one date and then tell us a story. I'll be out on 50,000 dates. Well, get a second date. <laughs> Wait a minute. So really, what happens on that on that first date? Do you scare them away or do you not like them? I've, I've, it's not that I haven't had second dates. I've had second dates. They're just not dates. They're more of second encounters for nefarious purposes. Drugs? No. Um, selling scal Se scalped cars? S getting Girl Scout cookies. So and girls got killed. Matt says, have you seen the movie called Annihilation? Yes. 
That was I haven't. that was two hours of my life I'll never ever get back. Shadows Riley says files minus banter, banter minus films. <laughs> oh man, so true. A sneaky fat cat films. So, get sleeping here. I, I no. Uh, I feel like they're just trying to finish Game of Thrones. Last few seasons have had as much story as the six seasons before. So rushed, to be fair. Uh, poor poor takedown. Listen to this. Take, this is what happens when somebody's got COPD. No, takedown's ill. He's got the flu. So he'll, he'll come back when he can. Um, yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate everybody showing up for this. This is awesome. This is, this is surprising because when we put up the, uh, when we put up the uh, poll to see if people wanted to watch Apex or this, and we ended up having as, almost as many people wanting to do this, but we, we were just we decided to hold off on Apex for a little while. Moltov says, there's going to be so much death in the next season. I feel so hyped. Yeah, I mean, Game of Thrones, I'm going to check out once it's done, for sure, and jump back in. I've only got through season two. I have to admit, the people I was watching it with were turned off a little bit by the sex and violence. Doesn't bother me. I've watched Sons of Anarchy, one of my favorite shows of all time. So, um, uh, Matt says, we put polls up where they are in, they're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, they're on Reddit sometimes, and they are for sure in the Discord. If you want to vote on what we do. If you want to vote on, do we let Takedown pass away, or do we try to save his life? Uh, now I caused him asthma. Broke Takedown, Shadow says. This is why, this is why we done. need moderators. What I love about you, you're the only person I know who will just cough into the mic. You, <laughs> like, you have the worst etiquette of any human in the world. Like, like most people would do this. They'll go, <clears throat> you're like, oh, uh, like you're going to eat it. Uh, um, I'm done. I'm done. Can't, can, Necro says, can we vote on replacing Takedown? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be as fun for me. Takedown and I did this for fucking, what, two months prior to coming up with Banter Files? I think Banter Files was his idea originally. Wasn't yeah. it? Weren't you like, let's so. do a, let's just do a sit down podcast? Yeah. And, and look what's let's happened. Podcast. Look what's happened. Here we are. Yeah. Just nothing, nothing positive oh. out of this entire thing. <clears throat> coughed up a bit of blood as well that, that's exciting for the viewers <laughs> D uh, Game of Thrones is so bad after season 4 creators lost interest in rushing it to the end after season 4 I wouldn't know I'm sure other people love it and other people hate it uh, I'll definitely get a chance um, what else is there what else do we got is there any other uh, games Trials Tri Trials Trials Rising, right? Isn't that what it's called? Trials. Yeah, so this one's called Trials Rising. Yeah, Trials Rising looks like it's going to be a blast, man. I cannot wait. Can't wait. The Trials games are awesome. When you get like some friends over for co-op. Matter of fact, in chat, what's your favorite co-op game? Um, I I love couch co-op Trials. It's fucking one of the most fun experiences there is. Watching people just drive around, smash into shit. Um, I heard Trials Rising has pretty bad MTX. Did not know that. I'll have to check it out. I mean, what are they going to sell in Trials Rising that's microtransactions? Like, skins? Oh, is that what MTX is? Microtransactions, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant MTX, like a, like a four-wheeled vehicle, MTX. So like here's... MTV. Here, no, well, it is both those, but MTX is also a speaker brand, and mm -hmm. MTX at one time was a motorbike. So when that's whenever anybody says MTX, it's like five different people <laughs> from different ages all think we're talking about different things. <clears throat> genital jousting it's a great co-op game just seeing my friends faces yeah we streamed that and stopped so fast take down an ice stream genital jousting for like how long i don't know not long but 15 minutes maybe yeah 15 minutes and then we were just like yeah to me it was nothing more than it was the worst kind of cash in kind of thing where it was just like it, it just it wasn't enjoyable i get why other people like it um Let's see. Multov says, are you excited for Days Gone? Oh, I am. Takedown is, I'm a little, I'm a little hedgy on it. I'm not 100% sure what, I'm spo what, what, what we're supposed to get from it. And this last trailer, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who gets a chance to look at this last trailer, this last trailer gave me a very Ubisoft feeling. Like there was like an outpost and they cleaned the outpost out and then they were able to like move people in to the outpost and out of the outpost and it started to feel a little samey. But I could be wrong be wrong i mean sony nails it right their polish process is insane yeah for games except for their dlc because star guys if you played spider-man and then you play spider-man's dlc you can't tell me that it feels like it's not from a different developer because it does the spider-man dlc is not good i i don't no. know i don't know how we 
uh, uh, Frozen Wilds, which is the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, is great. But the Spider-Man DLC just isn't isn't enjoyable. Greg Poker says, will you be reviewing Rebel Galaxy Outlaw? The developer did contact me about reviewing it because I reviewed the original. I am supposed to review it, uh, but I haven't heard back from him. So any other questions, feel free to ask. Hey, what about, does is anybody else excited for <clears throat> Beyond Good and Evil 2? Because I actually cannot wait for that game. Same, I love the first. Yeah, man. And it, it just, it looks fucking so enjoyable, so big, so vast, so many different things to do. Um, Moltov says, do you play Nintendo Labo still? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Alpha Dash says, Rebel Galaxy was awesome. Yeah, it was. Uh, did you ever play that one? I don't know what it is. Oh, I mean, maybe, look, I'm, I'm Rebel Galaxy is like the spaceship game, a little bit like Firefly in space, but World War II battles. Oh, that. You couldn't no, go up and down. Never played. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Beyond Good and Evil, uh, one was one of my favorite games of all time. So two is just I, I've been I've been hoping for a number two of this game as much as Alpha Protocol two. I've wanted an Alpha Protocol two since fucking before I can remember Jade Empire two. You didn't like Alpha Protocol? Oh, that was the jank fest that yeah. game. Yeah. Jesus, no arguments. Christ. See, unlike you, unlike you, I can admit something's bad. You'll hold on to it if you like it and pretend like it's amazing. No, if I think something's bad, Call of Cthulhu, but... go. I genuinely enjoy ah, it. Shut up. So far. Not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden Calamity says, Do you think Skull and Bones will be dead on arrival? That's the Ubisoft pirate one, right? Yeah. Boy. The fact that I had to think through what that even was, I don't know, man. <laughs> Necro says, Rebel Galaxy is what got me my first sound warning at my apartment during university. <laughs> Uh, a sneaky fat cat says, you ever play Kenshi? <laughs> no, but Takedown and I've teased the shit out of that game for the longest period of time. Um, it, I'm sure it's fun, but it looks so rough. And he's, of course, pretending to pee or do something crazy. You never know. Um, Greg Poker says, Rebel Galaxy was cool. Shame it didn't match up to Freelancer. No game matches up to Freelancer. Uh, for, wait. He's got to say something. No, it, I'm taking my tablets. My God, you're the loudest human in the world. In uh, Indio, I'm all about that game. Been waiting forever. Uh, Matt says Super Smash and Mario Party are always great for parties as well. This last Mario Party. Can't wait for Death Stranding. I don't know what to say about that. That sort of killed me. What do you think about Death Stranding? Are you interested in it at all? I don't know. It's too far off probably for me to get hyped. What moment. about Ghost of Shushima? Which one's that? Is that the, the Sony one Yonks of the samurai or... ones? Yeah, one of the samurai ones. Because I'm excited for the oh, which one's the from software? I think that's the other one, isn't it? Sekiro. Sh Sekiro. I don't know much about Ghost of Tsushima, to, to be honest. Yeah, I haven't really. It's too far off. Maltov says much. Maltov says is Takedown wearing matching PJs? Yes, he is. Take, Takedown's well, got. I'm not going to wear non-matching PJs. He's not an animal. Yeah, he's not an animal. He's not a heathen. Takedown. If there's anything that take, <laughs> there's anything we know about. Look at those skinny legs. Those legs have never done a squat in their life. Look at those bird legs. <laughs> oh man, those are fucking the size of my wrist. Oh Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Look at those little tiny itty bitsy legs. Wow, wow, wow. Man, you're getting a show here, people. Best show. Uh, a, a, wow. A sneaky cat says, Kenshi's basically Morrowind, Mountain Blade, and X3. Can't comment on, um, can't, com oh, I lost X3. Can't comment on pre-release. It just hit 100. <laughs> <laughs> Them legs should be an anthem. So pale, man crush incoming. Supermodel legs. <laughs> Careful with takedowns legs, you might get Twitch banned. It's true, they might think I'm showing some chick's getaway sticks. Look at those little tiny Maybe. fucking baby legs, man. You're like bird legs, dude. You ever lifted a heavy box in your life? No. Have you done manual labor before? Yeah, I used to work in a factory, in a warehouse. <laughs> how as little as possible. Yeah, how long, was, how long was you used to? Like, was it like a week? Well, did I work there for a week? Yeah, how long did you work? Uh, four months, not long. Oh, that's still, that's more than long enough. What'd you guys do? Was it a smelter or was it? No, no, it's a warehouse with stock, like TVs and washing machines and had to bring them out. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's definitely hard work. 
Um, someone skipped leg day or just any gym day. <laughs> oh, man. You oh, have I've to... been to a gym in four years. Shadow says, you have to admit, that headset and those glasses may be pretty heavy, though. <laughs> they are. Oh, man. This is wow. funny. This is fun. Dis on takedown day. These are the best. Wow. Anyway, take down sewed shoes in China. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know where that came from. Can you imagine that, man? Yeah, I think take down would be the worst worker in the world because Bam. the idea of him doing work for longer than is absolutely necessary and his output having to deal with people who, who are like take down, who are, let's just say, high energy. The idea of telling takedown to do anything and you would come back and half of it would be done and then the other half of the wall would be painted for no reason. You'd just be like, what in the fuck's happening? A takedown made his own PJs. That'd be awesome. I how, did. how many pairs of PJs you got? Three. Three? You you wear them, wash them, or do you wear them for like a week and then wash them? Do you wear, wear them until they start to smell, then I wash them. You wear them until you can stand them on their cuffs and they don't fall over, and then yeah. you're like, dude, no, that's, that's the rule though. Wear it till you wear it till it smells, then wash it. That's absolutely not the rule. It's the rule of ho <laughs> it's it's the rule of homeless people. You fucking weirdo. Um, I you ever had that one friend though that is like doesn't understand the the, the washing the way soap works. You ever had me me no come on have you ever had no. a friend like that no i uh, did no there's a guy where well, let me pause my music this is serious talk so i've had music on in the background because this isn't serious but now all right there's this guy that goes to my dragon ball tournaments and he fucking stinks like from across the room i can smell him and i know exactly who it is i know when he walks into a room even if he's not i'm not looking it's just and I want to say something to him. It's the most grim. He smells like a corpse and alcohol and weed at the same time. It's oh really? Weird. Ooh, that's yeah. It's horrible. You know, I don't think people understand, especially with weed. It'll stick in your shirt. You know. Yeah, Joe Rogan must stink. Yeah, weed. Joe Rogan probably is sweet stinky weed at all fucking times. You know that dude's just and he's always sweating. <laughs> he, he's like yeah. the Rock, where they eat a muffin and they look like they've been lifting weights for six weeks. I Hulk Smash, speaking yeah. of lifting weights, just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Thanks for everybody who's subscribing and watching. We are just doing a random podcast. If you get a chance, tweet it out because we're talking about random stuff. Uh, Moltov says, I had a housemate that didn't shower for eight months. That sounds like a goal. Sounds like something to shoot went. for. Two months was the longest I didn't shower for after I came out of surgery once. Because you were supposed to, though, because you surgery, right? Yeah, I was 10 years old as well, so I didn't want to share anyway. Yeah, remember, almost all little kids go through that, right? Almost all little kids go through the, the like, not wanting to shower phase, for whatever reason. Little stinky fucking brats. Um, <laughs> I, I, th I think for you, it was because when you have surgery and they have an open wound, they tell you not to shower for a certain amount of time anyway. Like, you're supposed yeah. to sponge bath and shit. That was years ago. I still remember that day you told me about your dad giving you a sponge bath and almost fucking died. I almost died. I've never laughed that hard. Um, Wait, he didn't actually. He didn't actually give me one. Let's I know that it up. was when you joke, but when you said it, <laughs> <you're> fucking <laughs> sudden calamity says ACG. You're gonna try out Vampire on Switch? Yes, I will. Nav says, how in the world can you not shower for eight months? I would assume by not getting in the shower. Smells like Pax Prime. You are right. Pax Prime was <laughs> nasty. Pax Prime was the worst thing I've ever experienced, man. Pax Prime, Cadiz, and I went, and within I would say. Probably eight hours. I had the worst headache of my life because people stank so much. And then some people covered it up with cologne. So now you have bo, crotch, fucking onions, weed, <laughs> and and cologne all oh, slathered man. on top of it. Good times. Okay. Game over, man. <laughs> that comment made me laugh. I Hulk, I Hulk Smash says, been listening to your podcast on my long commute. So love your content and podcast. Keep it up and thank you. No, thank you, man. I definitely appreciate it. I'm glad. Uh, I'm not going to read Game Over Man's comment. Uh, I saw Body Parts says, <laughs> conventions need to have a shower booth and force people. You know what? Couldn't you just use the IV thing, uh, the, uh, in, the, in, the the ultraviolet? You know, like when you go into a clean room and they shoot you with the ultraviolet? Because that'd still kill. Because the smell is the bacteria's debris. You would think you'd be able to yeah. you know, do that too. Mm. Friends don't let friends use VR at a convention. Yeah, so if you ever decide to go to a convention... Never touch anything or, or bring, I mean, and sanitary wipes don't work. People don't realize sanitary wipes, once you've got it on you, like 
they think, oh, I'll just rub myself down with a sanitary wipe, you're probably already sick. You're probably already dying. Um, requires getting under fat folds. That's what I needed to hear. That's <laughs> that's when you know the conversation's going well. What what else are we going to talk about? Let's move this fat folds. Let's move this discussion to something. Let's move this, <laughs> dis let's move this discussion to something completely and utterly riveting. Okay. I've got a story here. I found Oh, Michelle says if my date says hello my lady, I am out. I hope I hope he says hello my lady and tries to kiss your hand. And you just kiss you. punch I'm him. glad you said hand. What the fuck else would I say? Well, lips, but I mean... He paused. You went and kiss your hand, and I was like, oh, good. Because I breathed in, dude. You, you might try it. Um, I are you to breathe in. I don't... Luke I says, like are you doing the international podcast tomorrow? Of course I am, man. We haven't missed one of, of those in a yeah. fucking long time. Oh. I'll be there. <laughs> I can't, I, if I have to cancel it because of reviews, I will. But I will say, if we do do it, there is a developer who's coming on to talk about games. Um, uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not a developer. I play a lot of games, but I'm not really a developer. Come yeah, because you like Call of Cthulhu, so it's impossible. Protarian <laughs> exactly. says, in college dorms, I got matched with a guy who didn't shower for four months. He never moved the stuff out of his bags either. I rarely stayed there. Is Ace Combat Season Pass good value for the money? Alpha Dash says, not if it's the PC version. I don't know what I don't know what they did. That's bad ports, guys. I'll, I'll say this. Whenever you think that your PC is magically going to run a game better than the console may but it also may not have the mouse fucking work or some other crazy shit you gotta you gotta always watch out with ports um you're gonna die on me i hulk no, smash says kidding. any plans to try the division 2 beta we did this morning we streamed it for about what did we do two and a half hours two and a half hours yeah quite a lot quite a lot quite a lot quite a lot hang on quite. let me try it <clears throat> quite a lot Quite, I'm almost Scottish. You sound quite a lot. Quite, quite, I sound like Gerard Butler trying to pretend he's English and then switching out his accent. My some quite of my some of my favorite shows in the world are the uh, uh, Olympus Has Fallen movies. They're like Die Hard, yeah, but he loses his accent all the time. He'll switch into his real, so he'll be like English. He'll be all go and get the katana or whatever, like like trying to talk, and then suddenly he switches to whatever he is, Welsh, fucking I don't know, but he sounds like you know fucking Sean Connery. Um, Arkham Knight at least worked with keyboard and mouse. True. What are your early thoughts on Division 2? We did cover this, but I would say overall we had a good time. Uh, it's just one more game of many games out there that are coming out that look like they're going to capture a good number of people. Uh, Moltov says DMC5 is next month. Anyone excited? I don't know. Are you excited for the Devil May Cry games? Yeah, I liked the last two the whatever it was and then four or four and then whatever it was i enjoyed them i have a question aren't isn't this devil may cry the one where people were bitching about huge microtransactions i don't know maybe I've, actually i think i heard something in discord last week yeah i think so too shadow says carrick did you find it uh off putting or strange that you can empty loads of clips into the division's enemies no we were one-shotting a fucking huge number of enemies. So, I don't know. And we were, I mean, we were on camera. You could see us one-shotting a number of enemies, whether it be Takedown, Myself, or Abzi. So, it depends on the weapon, of course, too. Um, let's see. ACG's English accent really matches up well with Takedown's wardrobe choice. <laughs> uh, I need to play all the previous DMC games. M me, Reg, and Johnny didn't have fun at all with Division 2. I think that's what's going to happen, right? We're going to have a, a big splitting. Of of like what people are going to be playing Anthem, Division Two, Apex, Metro, Crackdown Three. Like you've got all these uh, all these different titles out there that I think are going to uh, split the game. It, it's it's hard to even talk about one single game everybody's going to play anymore. It's like one of the biggest problems. Did you guys notice how Black Ops though just died on Twitch? Like, remember, how long ago was it when we were all talking about Black Ops, thinking, man, Black Ops is fucking the new thing, and then it just, like, died out? Sudden Calamity says, very excited for Wolfenstein co-op DLC. Yeah, we'll have to play that. I'll play with Takedown, probably, actually. Because you like Wolfenstein, right? I love those games. So good. Yeah. yeah. Two, I love 2 as well. 2 is so good. Yeah. Uh, I think new FC is not going to do well. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Fuck, I have no clue. If if the new Far Cry has those changes and they work, I'll rate that fucker a buy right away. But uh, I wasn't a big fan of Far Cry 5, so not like everybody else was. Far Cry 5 had a lot of bugs, man. 
You liked it. it was just, yeah. No, 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 you I didn't. didn't. You, you didn't. It was all right. I didn't. I mean, I finished it, so it wasn't that bad. But it wasn't anything special. It was generic. Yeah, I mean, Far Cry Five. I, I, I just don't know what to think of the Far Cry games because I've liked some of them, disliked others. I loved Primal. A lot of people didn't like Primal, but I thought it was just man. I just was having. I just had such a good time through the entire entire time of playing Primal. But um, I know some people didn't like it. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see. All these splits, all these different people playing all these different games. Um, it's sort of sad because when you talk about a game, half the people there haven't played it. The other half are playing something different. And in a way, I sort of hate that. I remember when I was younger, when a game came out, it was a big deal. You know, like, oh, there's this new game now. It's just so many. <laughs> Silent Solid says, I'm trying not to buy new games. Backlog only gets bigger. Hitman 2 was the last game I bought. Far Cry 5 was so shallow, Greg Parker says. Completed Primal, Calamity says. Loved it. You are a good person. Now, takedown. Did you play Primal? I'm sorry. I, yeah, I liked Primal. It's one you of my liked. I, I, I thought that's what I, I thought that was it, but I got the last one wrong. So, so what do you think? Let's say you had charge of Far Cry. No jokes. What would you do with Far Cry? Um, I have a Far Cry Primal two, but set in a different era. Or like I'd like a Far Cry medieval to be honest. I don't know why. So give me an example of what you're thinking with medieval. Like you're thinking like dark, like uh, like Kingdom Come Deliverance, but Far Cry. I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking it would be set in a similar universe to the Evil Dead film, where it goes to medieval times. Oh, and I yeah. don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know that time frame. Okay. That just seems to fit in my head. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that that makes sense. Um, I I would say for me, I would like to see a Far Cry futuristic one, not Blood Dragon, but a full futuristic one. I think that would. Be oh, I love awesome. the one, like the amazing one on Mars. <clears throat> that was the worst DLC of it in the history of DLC. Do you think that is? Because I I agree. I think the worst DLC I I've can't ever. Think of anything worse. Worst DLC I've ever played is the Far Cry Five DLC. Like it was, it was shocking. It was. It's so much worse than the base game. It's weird. So if Spider Man's here, its DLC is like right here, right? Like there's some fun to yeah. it, but it's not great. It's not. It yeah. might be considered good to some. It might be considered fun, but it's not great. Mars, Fucking just, a. I can't. Uh, when you started playing Mars, and I, I played the zombie one, and I just fucking finally turned it off. I'm like, nah, can no can do, good buddy. Like not gonna happen. Just ended up stepping away. Um, yeah. Oh, he, he's got to get up. Silent Sol Solid says, my father's playing through Far Cry games. He recently completed the third one. Go Burns got bad on Far Cry DLC. Had a solid rant. Matt says, I think a post-apocalyptic Far Cry would be cool, just not colorful. Sun Calamity says, what was so bad about Mars? Okay, so the Mars DLC was as bad as a mod made by a poor mod maker. I don't know what was going on with the Mars DLC. Yeah, uh, it, it, Mars he was all over the place as well. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Indio says takedowns moving around like he has bad hemorrhoids. <laughs> Indio's on you right now. Indio's like on your jock. He's all I'm gonna Endio, fuck him up. Indio would love to be on my jock. I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. Continue. Explain. <laughs> I'm just saying that maybe he has feelings towards me that aren't of a safe nature for me. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Looking forward to Generation Zero. Okay. Let's talk about Generation Zero because Takedown, myself, and Abzi played take or played that. Oh God, yeah, that and was a while ago. It was very boring. Yeah, and finding so, that bunker. Uh. I I don't know about Generation Zero, man. All I can say is what we played did not entice us. Um, Game Over says anyone looking forward to Rage Two? Very much so, right? Yeah. I mean, I think I think Rage Two, at least for me, um, you know, it's Avalanche, Mad Max, ID. Praetorian says Primal had a surprisingly low download size for an open world, at least on consoles, seemed like lower texture asset fidelity. Nope, they were the same. I have I have no clue. Most likely sound effects. You don't have to do near as much as you do in a modern world. Sound effects can't be compressed after they're originally compressed into MP3 format, so it's not like a texture. Um, I'd rather Ubisoft made some new IPs rather than another Far Cry. That makes sense. Yeah, the last Rage 2 trailer looked good. I agree. Zero was so bad, Luke said. Interesting, somebody else got to play it. Yeah, we had a bum time with that, didn't we? Wouldn't you consider that yeah. not a bad time, but just like it was it was a bummer? It was like... Yeah, it, it, could, it could have been so much more. That's the problem. Yeah. It's a it could, shame. It, it, could have been, it could have been really, really enjoyable. Um, I'm more excited for Metro Exodus. I have to say the trailers have been turning me off on Metro Exodus a lot. So, but 
can't talk too much about that. Um, Rage 2 seems super cheap on PC, like cheaper than usual. I didn't notice that. Is it? Is Rage 2 cheaper? No idea. I don't check PC prices. I'm all about that PS4. You're all about that PS4 and your pirated games. Pirated? I wish I could get pirated games on the PS4 that easily. <clears throat> Bill says, Carrick, did you ever get into MMORPGs in the past? All the time. We're in them all the time. Every Monday we play one. Let's see. Secret World. DC Universe Online. Star Trek would be not considered an RPG, I guess. Neverwinter Nights, the free one. Um, wow. Le uh, Dark Age of Camelot. Um, mm, try, that's about it for me. Would like to see more on Doom Eternal. What do you think about Doom Eternal? Did you like Doom? I love Doom. So good. I want to play it again. That's how much I liked it. I might play it again soon. Oh, just... Do you do that one on easy difficulty? Do you just run through it? Uh, how do you play that normal, one? Normal. The middle one. The middle one. Okay, gotcha. But yeah. have you ever tried that on hard? The, the Yeah, and I was, I was... I died very often. Pretty, pretty fucking tough, isn't it? Um, it's oh, brutal. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I love that game. And Takedown and Abzi and I are putting together a Monday. Uh, we do the uh, uh, Better With Friends multiplayer Mondays. Here we did Apex and all those others, but we will definitely be playing that. Uh, Greg Poker subscribed at Tier 1. You rock, Greg. Thank you very much for subscribing. I'll, I'll assume that that was all because of Takedown's incredible antics during this podcast. Yes. Uh, Legal says D A O C. Dark Age of Camelot was awesome. Yeah, you didn't play any MMOs prior to me, right? Like trying to get into it. Uh, you haven't big in Guild, it. Guild Wars. I used to Guild like. Wars. Okay. What do you think? It, you I liked it? I liked it. Yeah, I played it because I think it went subscription based at one point, or it was, and I didn't play it for long. Right. No. So, do you find subscription based turns you off on a game because you just you just don't feel you get well, enough time out of it? There's so many free ones. I don't yeah. see the point in going subscription based. It just seems like an it seems like an antiquated old system that's not really relevant anymore. Yeah, I mean, dude, Secret World now. Uh, Abzi and I put in another ten, so we've got like twenty five, thirty hours, I think, in Secret World. Haven't paid a cent. DC Universe Online, eighty, ninety hours. Star Trek Online, um, never exactly. winner. All free. Yeah, all free. Uh, it's it's insane what can be offered. And I, what I always say is, if somebody's like, well, I'm worried about in-game content, I'll be like, for a free one, if it gets me 10 fun hours, that's 10 fun hours for free. <coughs> exactly. I actually have no problem paying them for something if I'm getting 10, 12, 12 hours for free. So I like those. And I beat DC Universe Online without paying a cent totally easily. Because a lot of people are, talk about like grind walls. They do exist in some games for sure, but that one, it doesn't exist. Star Trek Online, I beat... Um, Secret World I beat. Uh, that's it. Um, SWG was where MMOs got their hooks into me. That would be Star Wars Galaxies, right? Uh, Game Over Man, what's putting you off on Metro Exodus and trailers? Horrendous recoil. Really poorly done recoil. That's the one thing. Very poorly done recoil in that game and some on some of those weapons. And then, strangely enough, um, some of the guns sounded amazing and some sounded really weak. And that was probably a mod situation with the mods on the guns, so I'm not too worried about that part. Um, let's see. Star Wars free-to-play is a bit crap, really inhibits you in every aspect. I can't remember. It hasn't inhibited us, but we're only about 40 hours in, so maybe it does pass that, but by then I don't care. By then, if I'm still playing at 40 hours, I'll pay, I'll pay whatever they want. <clears throat> Greg Poker says, you seem like a good dude and content's great. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Takedown is a good dude. I am, and my content is great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Takedown, take down who's like, hey, man, sub to my channel. What's your channel? Can't remember. Wow. YouTube.com forward slash Mr. Takedown KD. Twitch.tv forward slash Takedown KD. Boom! I can't, I, believe, I can't believe you're happy about remembering your own URL. Oh, yeah. Now I shall open my legs for the public. Game. Oh my God! Don't. Game Over Man says I feel <laughs> I feel guilty of playing a free to play game when I have a backlog of one thousand. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to get through backlogs. At least for me, I hide them in Steam. Once I realize the games on the backlog that I don't think I'll return, I hide them, and then I know when I unhide them, I'm I'm doing it for a reason. But I don't have a backlog. I don't even believe in them. I don't. I think a backlog is some kind of psychological ploy. I just do not yeah. think there's really a, a backlog for me. I, and I have a ton of games I haven't bought. I want to play them, but there's not a backlog. There's just a game I have. Like, to me, backlog 
makes you feel like there's some kind of psychological thing with it. And I, I don't get that invested in games. Necro says, I want, uh, ACG, I'd want to see takedown. Remember URLs back when we all use GeoCities websites. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> right. Can you imagine that time though, on that podcast, when I asked him for his URL and he's like, uh, hang on. He had to look up his fuck embarrassing. <laughs> and the entire podcast was introducing him. I was like, man, I'm going to fucking help you out. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, okay, that'd be great. He comes up. Can't remember his own shit at all. Uh, Michelle says, Michelle says, I have a steam account in my will. 1300 games damn that's a lot of games how many games you got on steam how, how do i find out i don't know look on your steam profile i never even look anymore uh, that's i have 124 game over man says okay gotcha gonna hide all the games i know i have no intention of playing out of sight out of mind yep that's that works for me that's the thing is i just I, I think one of the reasons why I don't have a problem if somebody dislikes my review or somebody agrees or disagrees with something is because I just don't get that caught up in it. It's a fucking video game review. People are dying of fucking, you know, cancer and shit. If it, There's almost nothing in the world less important than a video game review. I mean, I take them seriously, but I can still joke. But come on, in the real world, and same thing with games, like, whatever. I mean, it, it sucks, move on, but don't get too caught up in it because I, I think it'll just eat you up. Um, opinion on Dying Light. Okay. Bill wants to know the opinion on Dying Light. Uh, like what, this game? Rem, yes. So what do we think of that game, though? Because I saw you playing it later on your fucking stream. Was I? You streamed it. You streamed it that night. You streamed, oh. like, three games. Yeah, back when I was horny for the stream. So, uh, I'm gonna... I don't know what to say about that game, man. I like it. I think it's a good game. I like it too, but that head bob makes me so sick. I didn't think it was as bad when I was playing on my own. It was weird. Almost like it was worse than multiplayer? Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe I was just feeling particularly off the day we played it. And I noticed it more. Might have been. Might have been. Silent says 327 games, but I try to buy games from GOG more and more. GOG. I, I like... I Moltov GOG. says, I like Dying Light, but I had nobody to co-op with, so I stopped. Um, yeah, if you don't get sick, co-op is great. But as Nav just said, that head bob is terrible, and it is. We played, and Takedown doesn't get ill during, I think, any game, right? No, never. And that was the first time where even he was like, oh my fucking god, I have to turn the head bob off. I've got to figure it out. And there's a couple mods, but they don't work the greatest. It was, it's bad, man. And head bob's one of the first things I turn off in games. I fucking hate that. I, it just, like, it just doesn't work for me. Always makes me ill. Ace Combat almost made me a little ill, but that was fine. Didn't you do a walk in the walk on Dying Light? Yeah, I like the game and the world, but uh, but what we're talking about, or what I was talking about, sorry, was our recent experiences with co-op. Sorry. As a single-player game, I'm the same as Takedown. I liked it. 2019 has barely started, but has anything really disappointed you so far? Greg asks. Have we been disappointed? Mm -hmm. Takedown? No, not, not by games. By not you? So far. Were you disappointed by, like, me? Is that what it was? I was, you... I was disappointed by how you don't respect Call of Cthulhu as the <sighs> game that it is. So that could be 2018 problem. So shut it. Disappointed in 2019? I would say not yet. Not yet, right? No. <clears throat> I can't think of anything. I mean, not enough games have come out that I've actually played from this year yet. Right. Michelle says, with all these new launchers popping up now, Epic being the newest, do you think it's time we had a launcher that combines all of them? Uh, there is one. But it doesn't stop them from opening, but it does put them all, it puts every game from Steam, all these into one. And I can't remember the name. I think it's Knight something, like N-I-T-E something. But there is for sure a front end that will, at the very least, um, co collapse them all into one list. <laughs> Cat Sleeve says, life is general and disappointingly to K or TKD. Shadow says, Carrick recently saw your 40, uh, oh, 40k Battlefield Battle Fleet Gothic, our model review. Will you do the second one? No, I did not get a chance to check it out. Yeah, um, Maltov, check it out. I can't remember the name of the of the uh, program, but it scrapes your your different uh, your different group or different launchers, and you have to open them. It scrapes it and then it takes it and it puts it all together. So, play night. That's what it is. Look at that play night. 
That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. And uh, it does all that automatically. No need to add singly. It just does it and launches it. Yeah, it's good. You should try it. It works for me. I mean, I don't worry about it too much, but I know the hatred for the launchers. We've talked about this. It definitely... I've gone back and forth. I used to be like, it's no big deal. Then I'm like, fucking, I hate it. Then I'm like, it's no big deal. And now I'm sort of resigned to the fact that we're going to have it, I think. What else do we got, Takedown? Look up some strange news for us. Let's go. We got 81 people. Um, if you guys get a chance, can you tweet this out? We'd like to get it up to 100. If we can't, that's fine, too. It'd be fun to do Southfield, it. Michigan could vote to allow or reject the nation's first sex doll brothel. Sex doll brothel? The first one in Michigan. Dude, it's going to happen, right? Like, I'd like it to happen. Wow. Dude. Why not? You, I don't know. The idea of pumping away on the same hole. hundred. Well, I guess that's well, isn't that what isn't I that guess what so. Any, I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> uh, same uh, yeah, there's something there's something worse about this, though. There's something like I get it. I have no problem with people having a sex doll. Fucking people have vibrators and all this kind of whatever, man. Have whatever you want. But, exactly. Um. I, I, I do worry that people are just not going to be able to have social interactions at all. Like even, I'm not going to say who it is, but I have somebody that I know who's fairly younger, a relative, and their social interactions are weird. And I could never figure out what it was. There's an uncomfortableness that occurs in social interactions, and it dawned on me it's because they're so busy with their phone. We take phones away mm -hmm. when we go to trips, and when the phone is taken away, they don't know, they have a very difficult time like staying. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Yeah. Oh, I saw body parts just said, imagine being the sucker who has to clean them up. You'd literally get a sucker, wouldn't you? And suck it out to clean it. A wet vac? <laughs> a, di a black and decker exactly. wet vac? Just like wet vac there. What if, what if you heard this, though? What if you're the guy doing it in here? And then it stops. It stops and you have to clean that out. <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. I'd fucking, I'd use them once and throw them down into a fucking bonfire. I don't know. I, I'd go to one of those places if it was the day it was opening and it was I was the first person. <laughs> you, you'd go pay for the entire place and be the first one on yeah. all of them. And then anytime anybody, <laughs> anytime anybody else went there, you'd be all, I was there first. <laughs> I was there <laughs> That's first, wrong. baby. That's wrong. That's you so... see Henrietta there? She was mine. Um, The brothel is located right about a smooth, right. Oh, Cat Sleeve says that brothel's located right around a smoothie shop. Nice. So tell me more. About get, location. get your get your groove on, they can get your smooth on. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, whatever. Like, whatever. It's 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 a weird thought, but it, fucking people are so into <clears throat> crazy shit now that Yeah. Like, they probably always were, but we're just finding out about it. What else? What other weird news do we got? Let's let's we got any UFO yeah, news? We got any fucking Bigfoot news? We got anything crazy? I want if to you want UFO or Bigfoot news, you need to go to Tom DeLong's website. What the fuck is that? You know, the guy from Blink-182. Travis Barker was talking about him on Joe Rogan's podcast, about how he's always been obsessed with that sort of stuff. Oh. It's not like a recent thing. Matt says they tried to open it up in Houston, Texas, but that didn't go well here due to the state intervention. A Florida woman went to jail because she threw a frozen pork chop at her boyfriend's face and cut his forehead. <laughs> That's the kind of shit I like right there. Assault with a fucking frozen just piece of pork. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's awesome. Fast food, Michelle says. What do we got? Any any cool news? You wanted a Bigfoot story? Hunters claim bizarre large figure in foothill of Utah is Bigfoot. The large creature, which appeared to be furry and black, was seen in the foothills of northeast Provo, Utah, in the USA. There's a seven-minute video. A seven. Send that link. Put that. Put that link in the Discord. I'm gonna. Here, we're gonna watch this link. Let me debunk this shit. We're gonna. It's gonna be a guy dressed in a fucking monkey suit, sprinting around. Oh, I've seen this already. <laughs> I feel like a dork. I've already seen this. Oh. Yeah, it's we'll not see. a. It. It. It did nothing about it. Looked. Like real. It looks like a guy in a ghillie suit standing on the edge of a fucking hill. That's why humans should never be, you know, like I, they even say like eyewitnesses, you know, are, yeah. are, are always terrible. That's why. For sure. Anybody got any more questions in Discord? We can wrap it up. Or we can we can jump onto something else. Praetorian said some guy's roommate stabbed his penis with an ice pick. Nice. Nice. Good. Good attack. Good attack. Go for the weak spot, right? 
I'm assuming it was man, fla flashing like a boss. Man, man arrested for stealing 70 pairs of shoes he sniffed for sexual pleasure. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is a story. <laughs> Posting that in the thing. Oh, man. Oh, people rock. Here we go. Man arrested for just for sniffing them. Yep. He enjoyed. <laughs> this is from Mirror. This is from Mirror Co. Dot UK. He enjoyed. It says he enjoyed sniffing the smell of well-worn shoes. <laughs> oh, um, people are rock. Uh, Japan explains it all. Have a good one, Luke. Thanks, man. It's been a blast. Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, God, I don't want to read oh, that one. Oh, God, 24 years of no, smoke, no, Jesus. No. At night, your brain can change the appearance of something to make you believe you're seeing something else. Yeah, true. What else do we got? Is that about it for us? I can't think of anything else. I've got Apex on, on the brain, and that's about it. And that's about it. I almost did it. And that's about it. I can't do it now. No. I got to start. No. No. All I have no. to do to mimic you is just sound stupider than me. <laughs> no. Just joking. Are you a sports fan at all? Yeah, I like uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, UFC. I'm a big fan of UFC. Big fan of Bellator, MMA, stuff like that. I don't think Takedown's really a big fan. I haven't heard him talk much about sports, right? No, just tennis. I like him. That's about it. I like tennis, strangely enough. And he's not joking, and neither am I. I actually enjoy watching tennis a lot. I grew, tennis I, is the best one to watch. I grew I up on John McEnroe, and... Uh, I, I just really, after a while, just really started liking to, uh, watching tennis and some of the superstars that were so good. Bjorn, what was his name? I think his name was Bjorn. He was good. Yeah, I love I sports. So. Matt says, I love sports. Mario Tennis is great. <laughs> oh, yes, that too. <laughs> Federer, Roger Federer, of course. I like the old school ones. Bjorn Borg, thank you. That's who I meant. You rock. Bjorn Borg. Steffi Groff. Remember uh, in Parks and Rec? When Ron Swanson talks about women he likes, and he's like, he always drops Steffi Graf. He's like, you're Steffi. Can't remember. You're st oh, you can't? Come on, man. No. You got, you got no memory. What I remember is, technically I'm homeless. Technically I'm homeless. Everything he sang was awesome. <laughs> well, Best part. I think that's it for us. How long has it been? Two hours. Been... Two hours and 30 minutes of solid laughing. There you go. Banter Too... files. Too long since I played Apex. That's all I know, mate. Two hours, 30 minutes. Best Park and Rec episode, go. Shadow wants to know what the best one is. Uh, all of them. I no. can't think of one that I would like. Oh, the one where Little Sebastian. I think that one's good, but there is no better one to me than when she buys the stripper to strip for... Um, what's his name when his girlfriend broke up with him? And Ron finds the fucking buffet in the strip club. And Ron comes in. And she's like, I hope you don't like being here, Ron. And he's like, I hate this place. It smells like a wet mop. And every one of these women ha is probably running a low-grade fever. And I fucking laughed for like 45 minutes. It was awesome episode. And she kept hiring strippers to strip and is like paying them for her co-worker. Uh, so dirty. Everything about that show is gross. Like when you really think about it. Yeah. Like way too involved in your co-worker, right? Uh, I love every episode with how bad Jerry is. Oh my God, the adopted... Uh, yeah, they're when they're trying to. Do you guys remember the episode when they're trying to find dirt on each other, and they find the dirt on Jerry, and he doesn't know? Oh my god, it was sad as fuck. Such a great show. Anyway, that's it for us. Thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute blast. We had ninety five people in here at the most. I totally appreciate it. Every oh, single thir yeah. every single Thursday, this is when it'll be. Well, it'll start at ten thirty usually, but. Anyway, thanks. Thank you for donating. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thanks for being in the Discord. Thanks for, uh, well, everything. Peace out, everybody.